What is up guys, this is Kobe here and welcome to episode 3 of the 2024 Reboot series. I have yet to do my weekly bosses yet this week, even though Sunday is about to end, we're about to go into Monday reset. Uh, however, I did lose my black heart, so things are going to be looking a little rough. Uh, I scored quite a bit lower in Covert, so 22k, but I also did not have my Fatal Strike for this one because I completely forgot. And uh, Fatal Strike on Buck is pretty big because he casts two of them with Howling Fist, and that, that like affects your score by quite a bit. Um, so last week I got 24.1. <clears throat> on the 24k range but um i believe if i actually did have fatal strike maybe i could have hit closer to 23 which would have been a much more realistic loss compared to going from 24.1 to 22 flat but um i don't really care about that too much however what i do care about is my ability to still be able to clear easy calling which i will try tomorrow i think uh but we're just gonna have to see how things turn out I haven't really done too much grinding since level 10 lord of the deep um, I am, however, 39 fragments away, so probably roughly two hours, two hours of grind away from getting Octo Punch at level 10. And um, after thinking about it, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and send this straight to 19. Send both masteries to 19. The next branch of skills I want to work on is both masteries to 19, Neptune is to 7, and Howling Fist are probably like 4. And then um, I'll see where I go from there. But right now, I want to work on the masteries again. We got compensation yesterday, so what we have we have this thing going on, right? Where there is this like gold Richie mask event, and there are a certain specific masks that drop uh, every like other day or something. Um, I believe how the mask shop works is that from Monday and Tuesday you get these Yeti masks. These Yeti masks grant you with ten extreme gold potions per mask, with up to thirty per Maple ID. And if you get five of each mask, you get my you get this like protective like mask outfit i gotta clean my throat god damn it's a pretty cool looking outfit i don't think i'm gonna be able to ground enough to get it though unfortunately because the jobs are pretty rare from doing like actual training uh so it, you know it is how it is um so we have the yeti mask which is you know the 10 potions per mask up to 30 uh the slime mask which gives you a thousand exp tickets per mask up to 30 masks which is really freaking good uh and then we have the mushroom mask which i don't have on me right now but exchanging three mushroom masks gives you one sword up yet another feature that is completely useless for reboot because that's just how they rock with it bro so <laughs> mushroom masks are basically only used to get this outfit because you need five of all three in order to get it and then on sundays you get these gold masks and these gold masks that you pick between one of three and if i were to pick right now i'd probably pick the slime mask just so i can get some extra exp tickets for the shade which speaking of i should be sitting on one two three four five six seven thousand exp tickets right now and i'm gonna dump it on that character right now we are one week away from completely finishing all of the uh, dreamer attendance events and it is currently march 3rd in korea almost march 4th which gives us pretty much 16 17 whole days left about 17 whole days left and so the dreamer update or all the events regarding it comes to an end it took a while my question is, considering they're not going to be giving out these cubes anymore in the future, what will they replace these with for future events? I really do wonder. And how much is Reboot going to get shafted regarding that? This is... This... I, I don't know what to say, man. We're just going to see if this is enough to get it to 251, and then I can call it quits, and then just give the rest of whatever EXP tickets I get to my book. Um, I'm at 73%, so I should be pretty close. But if I really do want more EXP tickets, especially from those masks, then I gotta grind specifically on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays in order to get them. Um, so I'm... Those are usually my bossing days, so I'm not sure how I'm really gonna fit that in, but we'll just have to see how things go. It's gonna take me 1.7 to make it to 248, and then the remaining 5.2 gets me to 74%. Um, granted, I still have Dreamcatcher left for a couple more days. This guy is missing only 26% DXP. Um, which I can probably easily get off of, like, two more days of DXP tickets here. Like, technically speaking, I don't really have to play this character ever again. Like, I'm set to hit 251 and that's it. Wasn't planning on doing it, but I still might try to see if there are any buffers around. Maybe around this reset. Uh, I wanted to save Easy Calling for a little bit later. But I just really want to see if I still got it going on. At least until the end of the Dreamer. Because I think as it is right now, no Blackheart. 
doable but very difficult and then after i lose to obsessive dreamer i might have to go back to only clearing up the hard saren what a what a it'd be like that sometimes i guess all right i don't see a buffer around and with all due respect i'm not really sure if i can play with that one um crap this is tough I got a grand more so I go back to making these what stones. Pretty sure the last clear I had I didn't. I, I've done clears where I didn't have Vile Hunter buff or Magic Whetstone. Um and I'm not really sure how those turned out mainly. But uh I think the last time I cleared Easy Calling, I had a pretty bad accident in P2 and I and I thought the run was over, but I still managed to pull through. It's just accidents like that. Those I, I can't recover from those and even without a black heart. Um, that's the toughest part about it. I don't know why this dude gets 45 points, but we still haven't gotten, um, guild skills put in yet. It's literally five minutes after recess, so it's like, I can go right now anyway. To be honest, with the score like this, I could push for, like, getting into some higher ranking guilds. I could definitely... I'm pretty sure I'm shotgun up for a top 10 guild, no sweat. Um, it's just, I don't know if i have the ability to join one on my own i did some research uh, i can't see it now for obvious reasons you know stuff reset but it appears that um the highest ranking guild in the server gets about 5 million points that's an average of 25k per person which i'm not really there just yet so i doubt i could get into the top guild but looking at the top 10 rank 10 only gets about 1.9 mil which is less than 10 a little under 10k per person and I get 22k. So judging off of that score, I could get into like the rank 2 guild judging off of average score. But I'm not sure how they would recruit me. Maybe I should just stay in here for now. Who knows? It's crazy because the absolute lowest level in their guild is 283. I, I'm only just about to hit 284. This is actually ridiculous. Wow. Some hard hitters. But I, I'm pretty much in this like field now, barely. And then we have the uh, top ranking guild, which has 182 members. What the heck? And they're still rank one. Uh, quite impressed with the lowest level's 284. I'm, they only have one 284, and then everybody else is Carcion and above. There are 181 members in this guild that can go to Carcion. I, and then they also have the rank one member in the game, which is or in reboot at least, a level 294 Angelic Buster, which. Ooh, man, the fact that I'm even looking for, like, top dog guilds like these is it, just crazy to me, coming this far. And I'm, like, not even far off from them either. Like, I would have definitely meet, met qualifications had I worked a bit more in my Hexa, but that's kind of what we're doing now, right? I've, like, consistently stood among the top five in the guild for a score ever since I've liberated. I think there were some weeks where I was even three, but I'm pretty sure I'm mostly usually, like, four now um in this guild i don't even know what like the average score even is i don't know what we get but we got people over here scoring um 647 but i believe according to this ranking it's somebody's like second character you know something just a mule all right easy calling time uh no black heart no wild hunter no bishop yikes i am not sure how this is going to go um I, I really gotta be on my toe. Like I, I honestly am fully expecting the timeout simply because I don't have Vile Hunter. Um, but we're just gonna have to see how things go. Maybe if I play like out of my ass, I can clear. But it's very, very hard to tell. We're just gonna have to see. And uh, the run's completely doomed if I gauge Hundun at the start. So again, Hundun P2, you gotta love it. It's like, as it is right now, I try Wild Hunter, and if I absolutely just cannot fucking clear a Wild Hunter, I'm done. It's over. I don't even have enough for Howling Fist. Like, it's, it, I can't clear. Was it clearable in this run as is? Maybe? I don't even, like... <sighs> I don't know if I can do Cowling anymore, you know. It's too hard. Um... I guess it's cool that I don't have to stress Cowling, but I mean, yeah, Cowling was fun to do, bro. But like, like I said, it's still clearable, but at the same time, um, I don't know if I want to go through this rigmarole roll every week. So, and we're losing temp stats soon, so I really can't clear Cowling then. So, I guess I come back to this boss next set of temp stats when I have a slightly better matrix. I, I don't know. I'm. 
Oh, well, that blows, but I, I really don't want to pop another Black Heart at the moment. I gotta hold those for when it's finally time to do in Kalos, but damn. Because, like, I can't guarantee I get more. Can't. It'd it be like that. Gee. <sighs> for real? Alright, bro. Absolute disappointment. What the heck is this? I actually think I've been like a genuine pitch boss shout for almost six months now. Six months without getting a drop that I still need. See how much longer it will be. I thought I saw a black heart, man. I Loki got a tiny bit excited, but. Come on, man. I got Saren left, that's it. You like that? Dang. Unfortunate. It's all good. I just need to see Sarah and that's it. I need the bar to HS. I could <laughs> get careless with this boss and be like that. Let's see if I get a box at least. This really is just a week, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What was that? Oh, snap a box for real. What the? Oh, it's a roar. Is my nine month drought? Fi oh, is, is my nine month drought finally over? No, freaking <laughs> oh my God. It's about time. It's about time. This is only really going to be used in like niche situations, conditions, all that type of stuff. Mostly still using the comp for like the solo bossing, but there are times where I can use this and pop off, man. But it finally freaking happened. I got my roar for it. Damn. E? Nah. Got a new best friend now. I like Roar 3 was even a friend anyway. Actually, no, I did help quite a bit in Calling. My crystals. No easy Calling this week, so it's only 3.2 bill. But that's just because I also did Black Mage, so it'd be 1.8 without Black Mage. Ah, <laughs> uh, could you, dude? That actually would have been like five items if the sword didn't drop energy. money anymore ah right, we're gonna test a couple of things I'm just gonna get it to like I'm just gonna see how I'm feeling Fast. 
Oh, whoa. Dang, a weapon. Dang. Estella is not bad. I like I wanted anything anyway. Oh, no chances. Oh, 243 jump. Not like I've gotten a grindstone before. It didn't work. Dreamer is coming to a close soon. Um, there are currently, including today, there's nine days left. After nine days from now, everything is done for, it's gone, we move on to the next patch. But we get information on the next patch by uh, this upcoming week, or well, in like a couple of days, honestly. Um, I did some training today. Uh, yesterday, it was a Sunday Maple, and we got 10 free VIP boosters, which are like the Giga Haste boosters on the map, and I ended up using all 10 of those in my two-hour grind today. With that, plus dailies, I gained 4%. An absolute ridiculous amount of VXP, it was so good. Now, I have missed a day, unfortunately, on this attendance somehow. But uh, in two days, I will be getting this level 270 potion. And I'm going to instantly use it in those couple of days. And I will also instantly reach level 284. And with that, I'll be one level away from reaching Carcion. My dreams of 285 by this patch, while they may be dead... Uh, maybe I can hit it during like anniversary or something. We'll really just have to see, you know, how close I am for me to want to actually push to it and, you know, reach Carcion for real. Um, I want to finish up this hyper burn though. I did get a couple masks while grinding. I got this one mask while doing dailies yesterday, and I can exchange it for the slime mask for yet uh, more EXP tickets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these tickets, and I'm going to get the tickets from here. And that should be a total of 4,000 tickets that I can transfer to the shade. All right, here we are. Okay, this guy's 74%. There is no shy up using all 4K tickets. I, I, like, should be done after maybe 2K. 1.8. And then just like that, this guy's 251. I get 1% more crit damage. I don't gotta touch him no more. And that is my hyper burn. And hon honestly, even though I didn't finish the burn... It got me a lot more than the dual blade did. I'm gonna use the rest of these tickets on the book now. I go from 93.8 to 94.1, almost 0.2, so basically almost 0.4%. That's not bad. Uh, now, I have been stocking up on some fragments. I was supposed to record yesterday showcasing me getting my Octo Punch at level 10. But that never happened so i kept those fragments trained today and i'm pretty sure i got enough fragments to get it to level 11 now so we're going to go ahead and just full send it to 11 which is going to cost me seven sorta and 140 fragments and now we work on the journey of getting this trade to 19. next upgrade i'm only 12 fragments behind i um yeah no 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 shot i get this to 13 tomorrow unless i get extremely lucky in fragments because 13 will cost 50 which means I will need a total of 95. I need 62 fragments, and if I only train for two hours, that's not happening. <laughs> not, not a chance. It is nice to be making these like smaller upgrades again. Uh, just focusing on getting both masteries at 19, because they're not too expensive. The fragment count does go up by five per level, but I also still have to get through this little hurdle on the second mastery from nine to 10, and then it should be smooth setting from there as well bosses i would like to make a very special announcement i have finished the midnight party and i can now claim the um the level 270 potion and i have no other character to use it on so it's going on here and with this potion i'm level 284 one level from carcion Oh, what? 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 Nothing cool today. You know, box is time.
Alright, nice. More swapping revs. That's what I need. Ah! Oh, no way! Another freaking box, man. Oh, it's something different this time. Check it out. A box. I've seen a lot of boxes. Oh, it's a continuous two. Nice, Estellos. What a nice little reward. Everything I had to go through. It's all good. Now I can finally sell the crystals. 2.1 bill. It's not bad. I gotta record this for sure, but it's a Sunday Maple now. Uh, March 17th, 2024. Big day today. Not only is it Max O Day, but it's also half off inner ability day. I need to roll this on her. I have 1.3 mil plus 3 mil in the shop. That makes 4.3. Plus whatever's in here, which is another 900k. So I'm about to have 5.2 million honor I can roll with. Really, the worst part about doing all of this is that <laughs> I really should have gotten these auto battles earlier and used them because now I have to use like nearly 400 of them. Um, but it's about that time. Let me just go into the weekly shop real quick. Honor medals, we are buying out all 300 because I don't need anything else. And then uh, we will claim each one of the attendants. 3.9 mil that I gotta hold down. See how long this takes. I guess in the meantime, um, let me open this Kalo so real quick. Just just to see if anything nope. Okay, I finally used up everything. Uh, let me go to preset number one with my 5.2 mil. We're gonna reset this line here. Um, we're going for either unique attack or possibly even unique buff duration. Would it be too bad of a keep? Um, but hey, I think it's the most honor I've ever had or, or attempted to roll anything with, so it now officially begins. Let's see if I can hit something crazy. And after 900k, only 900k, I, I hit unique attack. I, I didn't even need to use any of those metals at all. That's crazy. All right, it is black circulator time. Let me go ahead and claim my... Um, Weekly coins, and then go in here. I could buy all 30 black circulators. Again, I have nothing else that I care to buy. I don't even care about the droplets, none of that. We are buying out all... Oh, I have to buy them one by one? Oh, that's really bad. I don't like this. We have some space real quick. This cowling piece right here, let me use that real fast. Um, put this over here. I... Pop some of the MVP buffs. How many of these do I have? Like, I like three. Three slots of those. Use those. Move this up again. Black Flame. Throw it on the Genie Weapon. Tier 7 attack. And extra. Nope. But uh, we'll just deal with that for now. Uh, let's buy out some more circulators. Or just buy as many as we can until my inventory is filled. And then we'll go and buy some more. Okay, that's it. So we want... What can we gain? We can gain 1% boss. And 3 attack. <laughs> that's it and i'm pretty sure the average circulator so that is like a really really high um oh that's not as good uh, i mean this is like technically like still no nah, we just gonna reroll it like basically the same thing i'm not even gonna like cover over anything if i see um ooh, eight okay we gained one percent damage if only the attack hits what you want though it it's all good it's all good <laughs> I've gained nine nine attack and one percent damage so far. Wait a second, this is a nice update. Hold on, let's see about some more. Nope, nope. I, I'm not gonna look at anything until I see twenty boss, twenty one attack. But going through those is going to be tough. And then um, what is it? Once I see those two, there is a twenty five percent chance. That I will hit um 
that I'll hit 8% status damage. So it's like really hard. I don't think I'm gonna hit it. You continue. Again, I need to see if you. I don't even think I've seen 21. Oh, there we go. Finally. The thing is, okay, here's another thing I could do, right? So I hit 21 and 8. And I keep those. And I go for a top 20 boss. But, um. Yeah, see, 21 and 8, but the boss is 15. Let me go up, pull up the website real quick. Because when I think about it this way, this might actually be the play. I need to see the rates it takes to hit boss. And then how many, um. What is it? The probability of that boss line being, uh, um, 20%. So rolling boss is 2.31%, but then it's 10% to roll 20 boss. So 10% is about 0.231. You want some quick math real quick? The average to hit that is about 3.46 million honor. So with that being said, I can keep this and still try to circ for better as is because i don't mind using the black circs so i'm gonna go down and pick uh this is eight right yeah yeah so that's eight so we're gonna pick the after we lost a lot of boss and we're going to continue to use these black circs more if i do not hit what i want to hit within oh that's not good um then it's all good but like rolling for 20 boss top line is the absolute best thing i can do if i want to re have to reroll something uh it is all good oh, well i got 16 boss now keep that about to buy out the weekly shot black circs um and now that i've done that let me go ahead and go over here and i think there's some more shop yeah there's five here so buy all five here and then uh we use some more see if we hit with these and if we don't we're rolling i i did not hit so here it comes i just have to pray that i get lucky and uh, hit 20 on the top i'd actually probably lose my mind if i had a perfect dinner um, and I'm pretty sure I was running, what, like, 19 boss before 8 status? So, also, I just got attack speed. Again, every single time I do inner ability of some sort when I'm trying to look for something, I always see attack speed. Everybody, I hear people constantly complain about how hard it is to get attack speed, but I, I roll it so easily. Probably because I'm on a server where it's, like, pretty much a useless top line. I got a, I got attack speed again. Um... I just wanted to say I'm like 500k, almost 600k in, and I have not seen a single boss line yet. Um, with the 2.3% rates to even hit boss to begin with, it is looking a little worrisome, but it's all good. First boss line, and it's a 15. Okay, well, I hope there's many more to come, because if it's a 10% chance to hit 20, then I'm in danger here. I hit 16, an improvement, but... Not what I want. 17. It's like I'm climbing up a ladder now. No, 19. Nope. We're not done yet. We need we need that 20. Attack speed again for the third time. It hasn't even been 2 million on her. It's all good. 16 boss. It's not okay. Attack speed for the fourth time. No big deal. I'm below 2 mil now, so it is getting a bit worrisome. Um... I'm not really sure exactly where I'll have the cutoff be, but I, th I think 500k. Like, if I ever fall below 500k, I just settle with whoever boss will I see. Um, and even then, 500k isn't really, like, too much to guarantee that I'll reroll boss. I got 19 again. No, we gotta keep on pushing. Cause it's all good. Uh, we just gotta see if I can hit it. Thing is, though, like, I absolutely have to get boss back because that's so much damage. And I don't want to lose, like, all that damage. Like, even 15 is fine. But if I end off rolling with no boss, then I'm I'm screwed. That is not okay. That is not what we want. Oh, 19 again. <sighs> I don't know. Okay. Hmm. At this point, next time I see 19, if I see 19 again, I'm going to have to call it. I lose the fight and I and I fight again another day. Um, it won't be long before I scratch 19 and I'll, I'll keep any sort of boss that I get though because I'm... I'm starting to get a little worried. It has been a little over 3 mil honor now when the average is 3.46. But you know, av averages are stupid anyway, bro. Average just means you have a 63% chance or so to be able to hit that line. Um, and as co of course, as you have seen, I'm pretty much about at that point where I should have seen it. But I failed the 63. So now um, 
we're getting unlucky now. I, I've seen what could happen. I've seen how much uh, inner or honor I could go through without rolling boss. So next time I see boss again, no matter what the value is, I'm just going to have to keep it. Oh, well, I, I lose this fight. Unless, unless I could still hit 20. I'm actually getting pretty freaking worried. I I don't know how long it's been since I've last seen boss, but th this is really bad. This is really bad. One of the biggest things I was worried about. Please, please let me just hit another boss line and I'll keep that. I'm, I'm sorry I even tried. I'm sorry I even tried. Alright, I got 19 back. Ah, I failed the fight, but hey. Uh, the battle will be bought sometime, fought sometime later. Uh, at the very least, I gained uh, like 12 attack. So that's not bad. I'll take the gains. Oh yeah, Hexamatrix gains, by the way. Octo Punch, level 12. Let me get that real quick. I need 37 more fragments to hit 13. Oh, well, on the bright side, at least I made full use of like all the honor related stuff in this event. And it definitely didn't come out of waste. I got some really, really good stuff with it. Uh, just having 21 attack on Unique is very good. It didn't hit the perfect inner ability that I wanted, but uh, we'll get him next time. Let me open some other souls real quick. Got some Nels. Got some Hillas. Don't think I've ever pulled a Mag V Hilla before. Nope, that's not going to start today. Uh, Lucid. Vellum. It's terrible. Okay, Queen. Oh, this is just a no mag day. I uh, it really Cygnus. I really do be like that sometimes. Oh, we drop a lot of the. Uh, well, I have to check the book, but um, we'll see eventually. And there's probably some extra souls I have in here, like Will. Not anything. Well, this really this event sucks. Oh, I could put a will in the book at least. All right, one more before the mag. I have like no lucids, and I that okay. Did I get a unique Kalos or at least. Oh, I did. My, I have as many lucids as Kalos. That doesn't make any sense. And of course, I'm at six Talon clears, and I still haven't had enough to get a ten soul shards. But I've been hitting the box of max shop rate. I know it's easy mode, but damn, I'm pretty sure I would have hit in six easy Kalos ones. So speaking of, let me use these pieces here. Uh, with these pieces, I need eight more weeks until I can open another piece. Just opened a Damien and a Lotus, and uh, he didn't hit, so probably all the souls I'll be opening. That's all the Damien's. I actually think this is the one Lotus soul that I was missing. I wish I can get earlier. Yep, it is. Nice. I just need Mag for both. Actually, you know what I can do? Absolutely useless feature, right? But you know how I got a Mag Lotus on my weapon? And I got the whole Lotus board filled out, and I got two Mag Lotus so souls in the storage? I don't think this is ever going to amount to anything ever. But let's go ahead and get this soul to level 2 real quick. Drop the Mag Lotus in here. Bam. Now I have the hidden. That's it. <laughs> Go to the beginner tab, Lotus Soul, it is not level 2. Congratulations. Well, today's pretty much Giga Day as well, which pretty much means, um... Rooney XP is increased, Combo Orb XP is increased, Portal XP is increased. Um, so I should probably take advantage of this to do a little bit of grinding. It's also like 4x Monster Park EXP today, but that really only applies when I do PE, but... I should definitely get to some training, uh, real quick. Let me go ahead and buy the three X's from the shop, and then we'll see how long I decide to grind for. The day is finally here. After 13 weeks, Dreamer is now officially coming to an end. There's a bunch of rewards I gotta claim as well, so I need to get right at it. I have this whole page of rewards that I need to use, and then here I have uh, <laughs> all these rewards I need to claim, and the rewards here that I need to claim. This is a lot of stuff. First things first, I'm probably going to want to make some room, especially my use inventory, because that's where it's all going to go. Um, I have these masks here. I had two slime masks, but I ended up using them anyway, because they each gave a thousand EXP tickets, and I just put them all in my buck, and that's like 76 bill EXP for slime mask. So it's like pretty freaking ridiculous. Um, I actually might end up doing some more training later today. Because given my Hexamatrix, I have 91 fragments, and I can level up Octo Bunch to 13 right now. And I should be about 
Yeah, 14 fragments away from uh, level 14 Octo, and I'll probably go ahead and get that done and over with before we, um, or just before reset, just because, and I want to have it for this week's upcoming bosses. It sucks though, I can't get the protective mask outfit, because I did not farm enough of these mushroom masks. The Yeti mask though, so here's what's going to happen, I guess like I can maybe make some legion gains with this, but it's really weird because it's not like I really care too much about legion at the moment. I can get my current level, and I'm 87.75, um, which I still can't move the UI, so I'm about to get rid of my camera here in this thing. But um, yeah, 87.75. Um, I could try to make like some extra level gains for 9K. I, uh, which yeah, I suppose I can get that done later in the week. But it's really like not too big of a deal. I'm not, I'm not by any means trying to go for 9K at all. If it happens, it happens. But we, we may as well use these masks. The three mask for one sword. This is so useless, man. It is what it is, though. And then, um, of course, the eight Yeti mask, each given the, uh, these extreme potions. So I'm going to have 80 of these. Plus the 60 that is in the attempt. So I'm going to have a total of 140 extreme gold potions. That's going to be... Like, it's a pretty decent Legion level, so I'm pretty sure if I spread them out properly, I can hit 8.8k with this. So let me claim them all here, too. And then nodes, uh, there's 210 nodes, which I could use on this guy for Fatal Strike funds, but is that really even necessary? Looking in here, I have almost 1.1k nodes, so claiming the nodes from here, I'll have 1.3k nodes, but I also just don't really play any other characters, so I wouldn't know what to do with them. Uh, also, Chaos Circulators, I completely forgot about these when I was doing my inner ability, by the way. So, we can go ahead and take these and use them right now on um, inner ability number one. See if we hit big. Uh, nope, I mean, it's going to be like, you, you actually need a perfect hitter to beat this top line here. So, I have to look at 20 boss and 21 attack and I didn't hit any of that. Too bad. Let me just go ahead. Honestly, no. I'm not even going to waste the time to claim the sword. Up. I don't care. And, um, <laughs> that, that, that's just it. I do not care. I'll claim all the coins, though. Get these out of the way and just use them. And, uh, I have, like, a few days, a few extra days to access the shop. So I'll just worry about the shop stuff later. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to claim everything I can before it all goes away. So all the coins here. Oh, there's a 250 potion here that I can claim. We'll get that in a bit. Um, then the coins here. So this should be... This is 4,000 of each coin. That's a lot of freaking coins. I have 17k coins. Let's claim this box here, which gives a 250 potion and one sword up. I'm only claiming it for the 250 pot. And let's go ahead, and, go ahead and also claim the 250 pot here. So we have two 250 pots I can use. And of course, they're all going to be used on here. Let's go ahead and use them both. Each one giving me 0.6%. 1.2% for free is 1.2% for free. It is what it is. I am 83% away from Carcion now. Trade boost potions. I don't have my um, traits finished. So I guess I'll go ahead and put it here. This gives some like status resist. It's all good. We'll just go ahead and get all three of these. Symbols, uh, this is 300 authentic symbols, very likely going to be splitting them between Arteria and, um, about to say Carcion, uh, nah, the, these aren't going to Carcion, bro, uh, Arteria and Shangri-La, in which those, yeah, these are definitely going to be maxed out in May, with how many extra symbols I'm getting for Arteria and Carcion, it's pretty ridiculous, I think Diligence doesn't really do too much for me on Reboot, because it, um, it's primarily for, like, scrolling, like, the extra scrolling boost, and, since there's no scrolling on this server, it doesn't even matter. So I'll go ahead and take the extra five status resist. Wow, looking at the storage, I cannot believe I let 500k honor expire. And then a bunch of these boss honor medals when I thought I didn't need them. That's so bad. Oh, I really regret doing some things sometimes. Also, I'll go ahead and say goodbye to these cubes. Because it's not like I'm going to need them. I don't know why there's Sarah notice in the storage. I can go ahead and take that out too. Uh, but just getting rid of all the items that are currently expiring at the moment. And um, I'll go ahead and put some new items in. And I'm probably not going to remember any of them until after they... Um, 
or at least until the last day. I'm gonna see them when I log out. I'm like, holy crap, those items I have to use still. So he said. Oh, there's more simple selectors here. And then also, I think they gave out permanent chat emotes. Um, so there's more three X's, but there's like the permanent lucid chat emotes and then the permanent rock spirit chat emotes. So that's pretty cool, I suppose. Black flames, you already know what it is. I think I used up all the ones in here already. Yeah, yeah. You already know what it is. 50 black flames versus Jinny weapon. We're still going for the god flame. Um, to which I'm probably not going to roll at all. But hey, hey, we'll see what happens. And of course, the expected results. I do not hit anything better than what I currently have. They gave out some cosmetics that were already in like the actual cosmetic shop. Like this chair that I think you could buy for like 1k of the red coins. And then this outfit that you could buy for about 1.5k of the red coins. Uh, which is pretty cool, I guess. There's more 3x's. So now I'm sitting on practically like 8 hours of 3x's that I'm eventually going to have to use. Um, there's this character decoration thing, which I don't know why they're giving this to us. But I guess these are the people that missed a pre... Not necessarily a pre-registration, but like the showcase awards that we got from the Dreamer showcase. But it's literally the exact same thing. Um, I'm like fairly certain of it. So like, let's try to use it right now. Or is it? Wait. No, they're different. Oh my god. It <laughs> Dang. This one's like more of the winter theme. And this one is like after all of the, um, after all the snow melts. It That's crazy. And of course, all the extra stuff like another skin coupon. Honestly, I could just let this rot. Um, Vac Pet, probably never gonna use it. Extra slot coupons, I guess that's cool. Terra Burn, I uh, claim it. Color Mix Choice coupon, cool. Uh, letting all the sword or rot and die. Um, slot expansion coupon, that's cool. And then 210 nodes. I'll go ahead and take these and. Still not sure what I want to do with them at all, if anything. Um, if I really care to find something, I'll give the, all the nodes to the shade. But again, it does not matter to me. And then we also have some EXP nodes. If anything, I can like just min-max on the skills that I have on my buck currently. Um, for example, like dang, I got all these nodes. I can maybe throw them all on like, um, I don't know, Heroes Will. Uh, rope, like I, the extra staff from loaf the rope lift would unironically be good maxing out Saren or will or whatever Which honestly I run those bosses enough and I yeah, I took the Saren out of the storage So where I'm pretty sure I can just open like all of these and that's good enough um, And then will I'll open like ten of them and I think that should be good enough as well And uh, we'll see what that gets me to for both of them Saren gets to oh Saren is one off Wow, that's interesting. Um, I guess next week, Saren run, I'll finish it. And then I opened uh, one too many will nodes, but I got the achievement for that. And then I'll get the achievement for the Saren node um, after I kill Saren one last time. But I opened way more will nodes than I needed to. I <laughs> One too many, I'll up with six too many. That's crazy. Uh, it is all good, though. Let me go ahead and just, yeah, nah, screw the mules. I'm trying to finish up everything I need to finish here. But let me move this up here, actually, and then just um, open up all the time nodes. And then the EXP nodes will open these two. But let me see here. Um, rope lift. Just throw everything on here. Get the extra stat. Oh, I'm one off, so we'll just stop there. And then we'll just craft a rope lift later. Um... We could even level up uh, decent combat orders a little bit, but that doesn't really give stat the way Sharp Eyes and Speed Infusion does. Maxing out these two nodes will give me like 10 stat, as crazy as it is. What about the will? We probably want to get this to uh, max as well, just because it's a negative 5 second cooldown for each level, and uh, that would help out pretty well. Oh, Hyper Body also gives stat, so I'd max that out too. Bless doesn't really give anything. Don't have to level up bless. Um, so really, it's just sharp eyes, speed infusion, hyper body. Uh, combo orders gives status resist. Doesn't really matter. I open another fatal. I lock that, and then um, 
This character building. Lock that you set for training. Not too bad. You just get rid of everything else that I've opened now. 3.7k shards. We'll make one rope lift to max that out. And then we'll start leveling the decent skills more just to get that tiny bit of extra stat. And that is all. I'll throw some EXP nodes in this, and that's exactly enough to max that out. So that's cool. And then the rest I'll just toss that sharp eyes. It's all good. Getting this from 1 to 10 um, gives me a whopping 1 all stat. It's so bad. Let's craft some. I can't believe these are the upgrades I'm making, bro. Like, come on now. I can make 26. And then I put them all in there. It gets to 21. Now the boost goes from 3 to 6. That's freaking insane. The upgrades I really make for in game reboot. You know what? Let's go ahead and open like 500 more. If it could fit. Okay, 473. I can't have too many in here now. Got a huge achievement for that though. Um. Let me see how many you can go into bind. All right, cool. And then uh, we'll even level up CO as well. Like, we'll literally just like throw them all into the decent skills that I already have, even advanced plus, which I already had some earlier that I could use on advanced plus, but that's too bad. We have, uh, oh, Mystic Door. What does Mystic Door give? This is Morse all stat. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. So if I boss, there's no way I would swap out H. Nah, you gotta be kidding me, man. It, <laughs> it's so bad. I ah, more uh, another all stat pass. Dang, what do I do? I take out HS for the extra five all stats. So stupid. I'm gonna just make a note anyway, and it would be used more so for like the really heavy hitting bosses that I'll need it for, like you know, hard Saren, easy calling stuff like that. And, and that's it. As goofy as it is, as ridiculous as it is, I I, I can't believe it. I'm <laughs> it just seems so weird to do something like this, but here I am today, bro. That's just how it goes. More sharp eyes, nose, getting that's a level 22. Um, HS is already done. I think, um, oh, yeah, speed infusion's already leveled. Yeah, all that stuff is in. So I break everything down, see how many shards I get 7.1. I can max out plenty of skills with that. Um, if anything, I'll go ahead and let, let me see where 10 gets me. If this is overkill, then it does not matter. It's fine. Uh, overkill by one. I, I don't really care to do like the, the math on it. It's whatever. Uh, speed infusion. Let's go ahead and make 45 of those. I can't. Okay. Uh, 41. And that gets me to 23. So I think I need four more. Four more speed infusion, and then that's done. Get rid of this sharp eyes. And then, of course, as I we're going to open more nodes, the max amount again. I can't, like, I'm, I'm so. This is ridiculous. I. <laughs> um. Puddle, puddle, the mental, you know, bless. We have any bless boost. Get that to eight. It's all good. Uh, speed infusion. We have plenty of those. Now we maxed that out. They need to craft as many as I did. Uh, hyper body. Getting that to 7. And um, bind. We get that to 16. And uh, door. We get that to 6. Alright. Okay. Um, and I think that's it for everything else. I still need to. Let me lock this. Let me lock this too. Um, oh, come out orders. We got to 8. Okay. Uh, so we will we'll do hyper body now. Get rid of everything. We get 7.5k shards. Uh, and that should be enough to max out hyper body. Um, I'm really doing all this for like very little stat. I, I'm so impressed. I can't believe this. Um, so if hyper body is the same. Here let's make like 43. 43. Is this overkill? No, I'm actually behind by two. Impressive. Go ahead and make two more. Oh, not two, two more. And then with that, my hyper body is completely done. Nice. And then I have, uh, there we have it. We got the five all stat, 
the five all stat, the six all stat. I can't believe this, man. I <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. And then uh, that, that's all I'll do for the matrix for now. Uh, I'll put character building in there for the extra exp for hunting. Weekly rewards. We have 20 black cubes in here. Um, I'm not even sure what I would exactly want a black cube, but first things first, let's go ahead and claim all these cubes. Um, you know, no biggie. I don't know what exactly I would use them on. If anything, I will more than likely end up letting these cubes expire. Uh, if there's something I want, I care to use it on later. It's cool you know another character. Again, I'm not really sure how I feel about other characters, but you know, so be it. Sorta, we let that rot and die. Um, at least this coupon is transferable, so I can still put that in the storage. Keep pot, we'll do that. Um, all these are all coupons, so I can put these in the storage. And I don't have room for them, so let me put those in right now. I'm gonna freak out next week, and I log out and I see a bunch of items expiring. Like I need to start, I need to use these like over the week, uh, and not wait till the last minute. But knowing me, I'm more than likely want to wait until the last minute to deal with them. Uh, you pot claim that black cubes claim that uh, legendary event ring claim that and 17 stars call we claim that and that is that and this is this comes with like in the form of a coupon uh, it's a coupon that gives you a fairy roid um, so we'll go ahead and just put that in the storage as well so there we have it I claimed everything I needed to claim but I still need to go through and actually use all of the items when the time comes and for this outfit here, I'll go ahead and just claim it. Um, I'll take this hat, this overall, and these shoes. And that's it. And I have a new outfit. Click on that, and then I'll go ahead and put it on. And I'll wear it over my latch set. Which the latch set is giving me the uh, the passive 15 all stat and the 10 attack from the set effect. And then I can put my preset on here. Still get the same stats as the latch set. But I can wear something completely different. And this is what this outfit looks like. So put on the weapon, the hat, uh, the oars on the on, the cape, and then the shit, the shoes. There we go. It's a pretty good outfit that you give every, honestly. That being said and done though, I think that is all the gearing that I absolutely have to do, so we're good. Dang, I'm 66.9k uh strength now. I'll go ahead and do another conversion. Just to kind of see where this guy is at on the last day of Tim stats without a black heart. I have ID guild skill and my guild got 43 skill points this week. That actually like makes me really freaking mad. Um, <laughs> like I, I'm not going to put a boss at 13 though, but keep it at 15. And uh, I guess ball hunter bishop and stuff. Um, I can take this off for now just to kind of see. Wait, what the heck is this? It's not letting me take it off. The translation says it, it literally you literally can't take it off so you're assumed to always be doping with these when you run bosses allegedly so if i get lucky enough to find them uh, i guess but <laughs> that's just how it is but what we currently have right now you know i put level 14 in octor just because i'm eventually gonna have it anyway like really soon but um my official number is this is war 4 weapon jump 4 but wow i'm 62.3 with the uh, Wild Hunter Bishop buffs. My actual is 70.9 for 380 bosses, which I, I really want to look at uh, 380 IED bosses going forward because those are the bosses that I'm facing now. And this is without a black card, dang. So if I'm 62.3 hexa, uh, which is my actual damage output score with Roar Weapon Jump, uh, my comp for is 62.3. It's like the same thing. What the heck? Okay, I'm more comfortable with comp. Uh, if anything, Roar Weapon Jump is like a tiny bit better, but naturally, of course, I'm more comfortable with comp. Even my normal Kalos at 77, um, which is cool. Last thing I'd probably want to test is um, additional specs. Let's say I get one level and I gain um, 1500 stat. And that's like level 6 Carcion or so. Um, assuming level 6 Carcion, but I'll probably go to max out Shangla on Arteria as well. So that's probably going to increase my uh, flat stat by 1900. 
and then my actual sack by like 80 which really this doesn't really matter i just want to see the boost and the actual like additional specs uh just off a of flat stat put that in that's another 2.5 fd um and that put me at 62.9 conversion and then make my calo show from 77 to 80 um and then with the black heart i gotta do the math on this real quick black heart and five set pitch boss will give me an extra like seven fd or so so if I had all of that with the extra stack, sack and being 285, my in Kalos is 86%. Uh, not to mention the boss is getting easier in the next patch. So I'll probably be able to do it sooner. Uh, assuming I get my hex up a bit more. Now, it's still definitely too weak for sure, even if I were to have these specs uh, during like anniversary or something. So still gunning for the summer. Because I am expecting like a small power creep in the summer and uh, you know whatever hexa gains I make from now till then should hopefully maybe sort of be good enough to want to reach this point. Um, but literally all I put in additional specs are realistic gains I'll get off of just symbol upgrades and a black card. Um, the biggest problem that I have with this number though is mainly finding wild hunter and bishop buffs. <laughs> That's the toughest part but hey it is what it is we're going to keep working on our hexa. And get into that point um so going back over here like let's so th this is putting me at what 62.3 right now you know that's what i'm currently at uh if i get my octo to 19 that number goes up by 430 which is pretty freaking insane uh, and then i get the next mastery to 19 and that number goes up by an additional um wait wow really what the heck wait wait, wait 63.5 And this would wow okay yeah no these masteries are sick <laughs> they give me so much damage and right? i gotta get these up asap bro I, I love these masteries that's just how it is you know my damage is gonna be much lower after i lose them stats though so i'm not even sure if i'm gonna still be able to clear easy calling or not starting from next week but it's okay because we get somewhat of a temp stat title i suppose so it will probably still be doable especially since i am like past me doubling my exa a bit but We'll just have to see how things ultimately turn out. With that being said done though, I'm probably going to go train for like an hour. Just so I can get enough fragments to get my octo up to 14. And that is how I will finish off Dreamer. Okay, one hour is done. Um, I got like 18 fragments in this hour. I usually get around 20 or so, but it, fine. I only really wanted like, what, 14, I believe? So it's all good. Actually, wait, that means I got 19. I started at 41. Okay, well, close enough to 20 is this. Um, so I can finally level this up to 14, and I will call it done for the day. And uh, that is as far as I get in Dreamer. Not too bad. Can't wait to see. We're going to have pretty much like a month of filler with these next upcoming events. Uh, the next event is like a really easy Legion relay type of event. Uh, which i'll be showing that soon and then afterwards for the next two weeks uh after that event is over we're going to have another letter event similar to Jin. bro i'm gonna lose my damn mind but honestly the rewards aren't really anything that i'm like too crazy about so it's really mostly whatever it, it doesn't really matter to me as much as the last one did so i really don't have to stress any of the events that we're getting in the upcoming month so we can just chill out dreamer is over so it's time to sleep. Like, yeah. It'd be like that. Oh, I got a slime mask, though. We'll use this. Uh, I only got one in the hour. Wish I got more, but it's all good. Let me get my 76 bill. My 0.15%. It is our first day after Dreamer. Uh, I missed the event rewards already, bro. I don't have temp stats anymore. I don't have the extra perks with more EXP for my grandest day. These are Monster Park anymore. I don't even know why I'm playing, man. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed, man. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, we got to move on and be like that. And here we are for the March update. So the March update is pretty much mostly generally filler content. Um, we have the two weeks of uh, the new Union Legion Relay events. Um, so we're going to go through this here in a bit. And then we also have Spigella, which is basically just uh, 
golden chariot with a couple extra passes at that which i do not plan to buy any of these passes on reboots uh that, that's just how it is so the elite rewards we're going to be getting are these awards right here and the and they're not really all that great so like i i could miss out on all of these bro like it, it's it's really whatever like the big chunk of the rewards are, are locked behind this hyper pass here which costs 50k and it seems going live this uh legion pass here that also costs 50k is still absolute garbage and not worth anyone's money uh even as a brand new completely fresh account this pass does not seem worth it in the slightest i don't like this pass at all it's terrible but um at least if you go by like the reg value of maple points i do think this hyper pass is a pretty good value especially considering these last two um rewards here which is basically one ticket for tomato king which is punch king you know which gives the same weekly exp similar to like the drop the acorn and uh minor picnic as well as a level 270 potion so like all like these last two rewards alone would give a level 270 like 55 percent exp is ridiculous I, I think the hyper pass is decent value and is considerably worth buying depending on where you're at but this pass is absolute complete garbage, absolute horrible. And because we don't have a basic market in Reboot, it's not like I'm going to have access to this pass to begin with. So, that's just that. Before I get into the Union Relay event, I do want to point out that um they have completely changed the formula for extra raid power from Star Force to combat power. And um, my raid power went up by like 20 mil. And it will also change depending on if I'm in... um. My mobbing preset or my Boston preset, which it only like changes by a little bit from what I have seen. Um, you can actually actively see the raid power on your characters go up. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure I will have to log in to my other characters to be able to actually update the raid power. And considering I have 30 characters I'm technically supposed to be able to log into, I, uh, I'm i probably going to have to pass on that for a little bit. And you know what, I'm going to just leave this way power as is. It's not anything too crazy. But one, the Legion Daily has been changed to be a weekly. And it is the exact same thing where you kill 100 dragons and 20 gold wyverns. But instead of getting 30 coins off of that, off of, you know what, a day, uh, you get 200 coins off of doing this one singular quest per week. I completely stopped doing this after a while. Uh, I actually did this daily for quite a bit, but ultimately I'm like, okay, this isn't worth it. This is a waste of my time, and uh, I just completely stopped doing it. But now that it's back, or now that they changed it and it's a weekly, and it gives 200 freaking coins, I'm going to continue to do it again. And I assume just because it's part of Legion, it will probably be on Monday reset as well. But We'll see if that is the case. I, I am fully assuming it's Monday Reset. And after like a minute or two, I'm already done. So I leave, talk to the NPC, claim my 200 coins. Yeah, the shop is still Monday Reset, so I don't see why it wouldn't be for the quest as well. Let me just go ahead and get these, then I can go ahead and explain this event a bit more. So this event has, you can only do one character a day. It's a two week long event. And there are a total of 10 characters that you can do. And then all the other days following are just for extra bonus rewards, which I think I can do on any character, but I'm really not too sure about that one just yet. We'll see what happens when we get there. Um, but essentially, your goal is to get to the final 5,000 point reward, which is a Punch King chair, which uh, I think has your top five characters on it, which looks pretty cool, honestly. Uh, if not that, then at least get the 4k reward, which is a title, which gives you 30 attack, 30 boss, and 30 IED, which is really good considering we don't have sim stats. Now, it says account tradable, but I assume it's in the form of a coupon that is account tradable, and I'm pretty sure the moment we claim that coupon and get the actual title, the title is going to be untradable. Uh, not anything I was able to test on the test server, but that is how I assume it will go. So how we go about getting these points, you select one, so I'm gonna do my buck, obviously, you know, for day one, uh, and I have two different options. I have the option to kill 1,000 monsters, it's going to give me 300 points, or I have the option to do a Punch King, which goes up to the usual 1150 points, and I get the amount of points that I get similar to on the punching score is going to be. So if I like fully buffed up all that stuff, you know, with guild skills, you know, I'll probably get like a little over 900 points and then that's that's how much I would give. Absolutely way better than simply killing a thousand mobs. So I will most certainly be doing this punching. Um, there's also bonus awards as well, depending on the level that you are. 
Uh, level 200 plus characters get 100 points extra. Level 230, they get 150 points extra. 260 plus gets 200 extra. And 275 plus gets 300 extra. So if I were to score 900 at Punch King, I get the 900 from that plus the 300 for the level bonus. So I'd get a total of 1.2k points on the first day of the event. And remember, this event only allows you 10 days to reach the 5k point goal. So if someone were to do 1k mobs across 10 level 200 characters, they would only get up to 4,000 points. They'll get the title, but they won't get the Punch King chair, which honestly, it's just a chair. You, you wear it, you're like, ah, it's so cool, and then you're never going to put it on again. That's how it goes. Uh, so it, it's a pretty easily accessible event if you're only going for the title. I'm not sure if I get the title this week for bosses, though I think the only thing that I really need the title for is easy calling. But um, we'll see how things turn out. Um, I will go ahead and grab some buffs. We have Dreamer, like the shop's still available until the weekend, so I can get some, get some VIP buffs from there. We'll not use a boss sparkling red because, well, I'm limited on those. And um, I'm going to boss in this guy soon, but I don't want to AFK on him. Um... So I'm not really sure if I want to uh, use guild skills. So we'll just see what I get without guild skills. Yeah, they increased the limit on all the coupons to 20 per week. Very, very nice change. And then black flames are 40 a week. But the other flames are still 20 for whatever reason. It's weird. But I kind of just have to do this punching in a similar fashion to Covert. And it should be fine. Um, my combat power has taken a significant drop. I don't think my legion is affected in this map in particular, but it is uh, 171 mil now versus the 189 mil it was for this patch. So that's like pretty freaking harmful, but hey, we'll see how much it goes back up once I get that title. Of course, it's not going to be the same, especially since I already have Pink Bean Yeti title, but um, I should still at least get like a little bit of it back. So it, it should be okay. About to finish this here in a bit. Should have overdrive a couple seconds earlier. This is not the best run, uh, but it's all good. I swapped to Roar a little early, which I'm about to pop right now. So I can throw these out. And then, um, I'll start using this. Fatal proc right now. Okay, cool. And then, uh, I, dude, I'm probably not even going to need 900. Damn. That's tough. I, I thought I would at least hit 900 without guild skills, but I, I guess not. Dang. Really weak on this guy. Uh, but that's cool. It's all good. 893 plus the 300 bonus, so that puts me at 1,193. This event sucks because it's going to make me have to go on nine other characters to get the job done, which is um, it's cool, I guess. Uh, but here are my rewards. So similar to the Minor Picnic uh, Bento Box events, there is gambling for these as well. So we could choose between extreme growth potions, symbols, auto metals, nodes, black flames, and so to energy, not not fragments, but only energy. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and aim for the black flames and here's how it works. I'm pretty sure it all ends up being the same exact odds anyway. So it doesn't even give me a reason to wanna gamble on the red or the black box, but the blue box is the guaranteed box. I get two flames. The red box is like small gambling you know, 60% chance to get one. At least you get something out of the red box. Um, but there's a 40% chance to get more than what you would get out of the blue. And then the black box is an 80% chance to hit nothing. A 15% chance to hit significant, uh, a little bit bigger than the blue box. And then a 5% chance to hit a lot bigger than the blue box. 25 black flames hitting the 5% versus the two guarantee from the blue. But I'm just going to be going for blues every single day. But right there. 1193 and i'm able to claim my first award which is 20 vip buffs but i can claim those later what are the odds ah uh, i'm never gonna see a stone man never ever ever will it that's the wrong one Oh my god, I'm approaching like 80 clears in OET. Aww. Not like I need this box for anything either. Gotta continue this. I won. Oh, 
Alright, cool. A shard. Did not get anything. Shards. Alright, good enough. There it is. Day 2 of Union Relay. Now, I haven't done this in a while, but holy crap, I'm about to log in to a completely different character. Um, we're going to the Dual Blade. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, let me go ahead and take off these pets. And wow, these pets actually expire in like two days. Luckily, I have the RP to revive them, so it's all good. But I'm going to put them in the cash shop, and uh, they will be used all my Dual Blade. So my Dual Blade can do this Punch King. I got to put the links on there and everything. I should also probably check out the updated Legion Power, if it will be updated at all, because I haven't logged on my Dual Blade in so long. Um, let me switch over to the bossing preset, put it, put it myself at 443 mil, and that is with my training stuff on, but, um, let me look at the exact number for it, 443.9, uh, alright, now let's see if it actually, like, for real updates when I get on the DB, though, so we're going to go ahead and log out, and move over, and get on. Alright, here we are, let's check it out. And, um, alright, a very tiny update. It went up, like, 40k, if even that much. <laughs> it is what it is. It's got 17 million combat power, but it's, like, the really inflated combat power because Dual Blade is a cheater job. I uh, don't know why it's like that, but it is. I have no idea what to expect from this. Also, I use my decent skills right outside in the, uh, in the main map because I didn't toggle my pet thing. Um... So I have to wait like an extra minute or so. Uh, it's all good though. I'll just go ahead and pop a few buffs that I have. We got to buy a Legionite, but it's cool. Pop that, Echo. Um, and uh, that should be good enough. I need to get used to my keybinds again because I, I completely forgot. Basically all of them. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, she was ultimate dark side cooldown. Our duration is 30. Alright. I just pop this right now. Uh, I can AB right now as well. I'll use a uh, blade storm after the next cast of these things. Right now. Oh, I should have probably flash banged as well. Oh no. Such a terrible DB player. But hey, just like that, I already got um, I already got more points than I would by just hunting 100 mobs. This is exactly why you do the punch king. Um, oh, my Maple Warrior stacks as well. Dang, I should have waited on those too. It's okay. Oh, I didn't even use those. Uh, hold on. Okay, use it right now. Yeah, now we're good. That is... That's awkward. Alright, well, hopefully I can at least hit like 500 or something. Um, we will see though. Oh, I have Maple Warrior stack. I should have used it earlier though, actually. What the heck? I completely brain did. Um, flashbang. The goal, really, at this point, um, just make it through this stage, man. <laughs> Hit 500, I'll be fine. Get the 200 bonus to get, like, 700 total points. But we'll, we'll see if that's even possible. I have ultimate dark sight in, uh, uh, 30 or so? Or, no, 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 I can, I can use it in 10 seconds, so I use it at 30. Let me find a cut real quick. And then one more flashbang, just because... Probably didn't even need to, but it's all good. What's my dark side now? Um, I can honestly start using some like AB and glasses over here. I'll uh, go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, easy. This is easy. So just like that, and then I'll use this. Uh, hit it one bills of this. Uh, goddamn. Whatever little extra points I get here on this last stage, wrap it up. 510. All right, not too bad. So let's go ahead and turn that in. Um, 710 total points because 510 on Punch King plus the 200 bonus for being level 260 plus. Claim the reward. We're going after Black Flames again. And of course, we're getting the guaranteed box. And we have hit 1.9k. 
on the second day of the event. Time to not get on this guy ever again. Alright. Ten clears! No emblem. Alright, day five. Skipped a few days. Day five of uh, Union Relay. And um, it's actually about to be day six, but I haven't done day five yet at all. Uh, the characters that I've done so far are my Buck, my Dual Blade, my Dark Knight, and my Arc. My Dark Knight scored 425, and my Arc scored 364, which is uh, decent, I suppose. I don't really know. But um, the next character I'm about to do will be my Dawn Warrior. And then after that will probably be my Shade, which uh, I hope my Shade can hit 300. But that thing has no funding at all whatsoever. But I'm pretty sure it's not too difficult to hit 300. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. But um, let me log him out, man. My freaking Dawn Warrior. Better log in my Dawn Warrior and see how this goes. And this is not looking too bad. Um... Yeah, 350 plus already, I gotta apply to side again. And then I will break the sun here in like the last five seconds or so. Right about now. Um, wait, I'm pretty sure this is higher than my arc. And my arc is like way stronger. Though granted, when I did do my arc punching, I literally did not know what the hell I was doing. So, it'd be like that sometimes. But, um, I believe this pushes me up to 3.5. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, about 3.5. Because, like, I could potentially get the title tomorrow. I need... Um, I'm not too sure about that one, man. That means my shade needs to score, like, 300. And, uh... So, me I get the 150 extra points, my shade needs to score something like 300 and... Uh... A lot. That That's it. What level is my hero? 227? Dang. My hero don't get the bonus points, then. I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I might be screwed out of getting the title. That's uh, it's really unfortunate, or at least tomorrow. And I have to wait until literally the last day of the week, which means that only gives me one day to try easy calling to see if I can clear for the week. My hero is like the last character I have left that could potentially get a reasonable score, but I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see. But I did get more black flames, and I want to use these on my weapon. I did not hit with the 50 flames. I'm using like eight more flames that I got from bosses, and these will very likely not hit either. I think I'm like probably about 750 ish flames of this now, and I don't think I've seen a single T7 attack. And if I did, then it probably didn't come with anything, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen T7 attack at all. I thought I needed any gear. Damn. Nice. Oh my god, what is that? Last pitch chance for the week, and I get absolutely nothing. That's sucks wow I don't even know what I would want this for but um I'll buy it oh a crit damage a one I already have a four money I am uh, barely rewarded obviously no grindstone though absolutely nothing this extra upgrade so I can start getting more sword at least not that it really matters but get 15 on octo all right 
sit down recording the situation real quick because uh i got a lot that i saw that i could do and it really sparked the grind on here rapidly a lot more than i probably thought i would at the current moment so i know i said my last goal right for the series is normal kalos and that's still like will be the case but um i just figured like even grinding out hexa that goal is still so far away that i wouldn't be so sure i wouldn't know exactly how i'd even make it there to begin with well i've had a little bit of a realization and i want to see if it's a little bit possible on the buck um i think i i forgot what i mentioned exactly what my hexa matrix goal was or what my hex converter goal was to be able to solo no more callos to begin with but i think it could be done much 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 sooner than expected so i've already been training for an hour and a half today um just pop another coupon you know another 30 minutes here and i'm not even finished here i still might do more time but um i think killing that boss might be doable by may like I'm, I'm talking like somewhere within may for anniversary but i do have to at least hit level 285 first um if i somehow magically like solo normal callus for a form 285 oh i'd be very surprised first of all but honestly i also just see hitting 285 and going to carcion as another one of my final goals for this character as well just just because but the big thing that happened was when this patch arrived in the boss changes arrived Kalos received a massive, massive nerf uh, overall. And um, there's no like nerf to the HP or anything, but the absolute biggest thing about that fight now is, uh, well, two main things I feel like. One, uh, you can shoot your shot every 10 seconds in that boss versus every 20. Uh, one of the biggest issues as to why like Kalos' damage cut was so high to even begin with is that you would have so many structures up during the boss and it would be really hard to DPS the boss because you have so many things continuously attacking you at all times and it takes a while for for you to turn those things off especially with having a 20 second cooldown shot in normal mode so that was going to make things very tricky um currently now though we have a shot with a 10 second cooldown for all modes of the fight and uh ideally if you actually cleanse properly you won't have any more than one to zero structures up if fma happens on that same time you might have two up but like that's as far as it goes every part of the fight will be played like you're just entering two one for the first time and if you're on your game cleansing structures it will be like that for all of the entire fight that lowers the cut by so much it's ridiculous so i did some like mental math you know some calculations on the maple scouter right and when I should probably give Normal Callo a shot, Normal Callus a shot. Well, first things first, I want to hit level 285. Um, you know, get a few levels into Carcion, mainly just for the symbol stat, because I think the symbol stat is still a relatively nice damage gain. Um, we should be having temp stats then, so that'll be nice. I have this title, this uh this union title from the relay event, which I completely stopped doing after I got the title, by the way, because I think the event is garbage and I'm ready for the next <laughs> event to start. But um I'm gonna lose the title like late April, so it doesn't even matter currently. But anniversary should provide me with temp stats that I can still use as well, which will be nice. Uh, same with you know VIP buffs, and I'm gonna be popping another black heart, so that's gonna be really good as well, you know, gear wise. And if I get really lucky, April or May, I could get a badge drop from Black Mage. We got B reset tomorrow. I'm running BM tomorrow. I'm getting my badge tomorrow. You already know what it is. And uh, Saren, I still hoping for an emblem. Honestly, at this point, I don't really expect it to happen. I mean, I'm only like 11 clears in or something, so I don't know why I'm like fully expecting an emblem, but it's, um, we'll just have to see how it goes here soon. But I really don't even necessarily need it anymore. So even if I don't get a badge or an emblem, I hit 285, I get some civil levels in Carcion, I get both of my masteries to 19, which, um, Octo is currently at 15, and Sea Serpent is currently at 9. I'm five fragments away from getting Octo to 16, which I'm currently trying to get to level 19 at the moment and i am a total of about 230 fragments away from 19 i think so that's not even that bad that's like another 11 and a half hours on average for me to finish it which is really really good um and then afterwards i go for c serpent 19 and then i can see whatever gains i need to make after that and uh honestly just see where my exp is at towards the end of this level or by the time i finish all that stuff and uh, 
if I got more time, you know, some other upgrades I want to make on the Hex, I would include, like, getting my Origin to level 7, or getting my, and getting my Howling Fist to level 4. So I think if I do all of that, while having temp stats somewhere in, like, the middle of May or so, with Anniversary, I should stand a chance against the boss, and I could take it down before the summer. Which, honestly, if I could do that before the summer, I, I would love to. I know it's gonna suck to, you know, for that to be the end all be all of things, but I think it'd make for a really, really good time to uh, take it down and finish everything off. At least that way, I still will be able to showcase anniversary and all that stuff, but then the 21st anniversary would be the final event I go over um, in this series, which is actually really crazy to think of considering I started off like right after Destiny. I started with the events right after Destiny, you know, it was like kind of blame. Um, but then like my first big event on this character was the 19th anniversary event, Maple Moment Tree. So going through three anniversaries will be crazy. And it's also really cool too, because last year's anniversary, I was also trying to kill a boss and that boss is Black Mage. So we go from doing Black Mage from last year's anniversary to no more Kalos in this year's anniversary. Man, crazy how time is like that, bro. But having you guys understand the game plan, like, I really want to see about actually, like, considering how much they nerfed the boss, I'm really trying to see how doable normal Kalos is now before the summer patch even begins. Or, most importantly, before I even lose anniversary temp stats, which we don't even know when anniversary or how long the anniversary event will last yet. We know when it's going to happen, which is, like, April 18th going live, I'm pretty sure. But, um, no set date on, like, when all of those events end and stuff, but... We just have to wait and see for that. In other news, I also missed another week of easy calling. Um, <laughs> it'd it be like that sometimes. I missed another week of easy calling, but that's that's perfectly fine. That's okay. Um, last week I got this title on the last day, and I just did not care to try. But then I ran easy calling for the first time this week. Well, first try this week, and I cleared it with like a little under a minute left. Um, could have been a bit of a better run, but. I'm still happy I managed to get the clear down at the end of the day, so that I that puts me at seven easy calling clears, and uh, I'm currently six easy Kalos clears away from pulling another eternal piece, which will be around that same time I probably want to attempt the boss. Funny enough, uh, for normal mode. So I think what's going to happen is that I'm going to see about 18 starring the next piece I pull. Uh, I would probably would like to have an event for that, but who knows how long it'd be until then. And then, um, you know, roll a, a decent -ish potential on it with whatever money I'm able to use for it. I'm currently sitting at 22 bill at the moment. I still have really no clue to spend it, uh, you know, currently. Um, but that's just how it is for now. Also, currently with Easy Kalos, when I clear Kaling, I try to go to Easy Kalos without like guild skills or anything, just to spend a little bit longer in the fight and really just practice like same plat DPSing stuff like that. Any sort of tips, tips and tricks that I can use to transfer over to normal mode. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but to transfer over to normal mode and um, see if I can get that kill in in normal. But um. Doing that, you know, the same plat DPSing, worried about eyelids and stuff. Um, I think there's a way to like dodge that okay with like my my little advanced dash technique, but it's still a very, very challenging to do so. But I'm gonna keep on trying. And uh, as soon as I get it down, oh, it's gonna be so nice when I do normal. But that's pretty much it for that. Uh, it is a Sunday, so I have to do my grinding today. And, um,. I gotta do my dailies. Well, I don't have to do my grinding today, but I'm doing it anyway. But I had to do my dailies, and I also had to do Culvert, which, speaking of, I left the last guild. Um, I don't know what happened, but the last guild kind of necessarily boomed. Um, I saw... Okay, so there was one week I opened up the guild tab after, you know, Monday reset and everything. I go to check G skills. We're at 43 points. Wait, why do we have 43 points? I'm so freaking lost and confused. I don't even know. Um... <laughs> so that, that that just threw me off a little bit that was really annoying and then i saw the uh the scores for covert uh for the upcoming week and it was going to be even worse than 43 so i i just it, it just come to terms that i think the guild practically boomed so i left and i'm over here i'm scouting for another guild but considering how strong i was like i'm like damn maybe i could try to join a top guild 
Like I'm talking like a guild with the big dogs and all that. Uh, so I try to join, <laughs> I try to join the rank two guild name for Breeze, and um, you know I have you know my friend Neo help me translate what they were saying, right? And, and these dudes are like, oh, if you want to join our guild, you need to hit 30k covert. I'm just like, damn. 30k are you kidding me i i can't do that i'm too far that is ridiculous so the rank 2 guild and reboot needs 30k covert um I, I guess technically speaking my dark knight you know in luna uh to use as an example is currently in the rank 1 guild on the server um it's only 30k for people who are currently in the guild but they are looking for you know at least 35k plus for new recruits um it's just funny to see that the rank 2 reboot guild requires 30k i thought it'd be a little lower and i thought i could kind of squeeze my way in you know maybe 25 i could try to see if i can make it work but it's all good um because i couldn't join that guild they recommended me to their second guild called downy which is the guild that i joined um it has a guild it has a corporate requirement of 8k and if you manage to hit 30k plus in downy uh you can be promoted to join Febreze, the rank 2 guild. And this guild is not Sleeper, by the way. It's crazy because their sub guild, their alt guild, probably, you know, they have some mules in this guild or whatever. Um, they're top 10. They get they get 52 points. I was rather impressed when I saw it. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I mean, I can see current Cobra scores at the moment. We are ranked 12 at the moment, but I could see us going back up to rank 10 again by the end of the day because you know they're just that good with it so i will try to show my covert uh this time i have like a couple more levels into octo which speaking of i have one more level or one more fragment until level 16 octo which is nice um but last week without this title that i'm using right now i barely hit 22k which is good because when they asked for my covert score i i told them 22k and I never actually did a genuine test on uh, what it was without Tim stats, so I was afraid that I wouldn't like meet the mark. I did one run, I hit like 20k, and I'm like, dang, I kind of screwed up. I could probably do something a little better. And then I, you know, did a little bit of improvement and hit 22. So reaching 22 completely without Tim stats, I as that's good enough for me. Crazy how I'm not even on the front page of last week though. But you scroll down once, and yeah, I'm probably right here. I am the. 21st highest covert in this guild out of um 185 people also have to censor that last bit because from uh recent acknowledgements uh i'm not going to try my chances even with a lower guild like this but there's a chance you could get in trouble for showing coverts publicly so i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna take that chance i'm sorry y'all but that's how it is i'll be done grinding soon and then once i am done i will um do my actual covert and see what I'm working with. Finished the grind. Did a total of three hours today, and I'm pretty sure I got around 62 fragments. So that's not too bad. Uh, let me go ahead and do this right now, right before covert. Get my octo from 15 to 16, and with that, I just need uh, three more levels, and then we take this mastery straight to 19 as well. Just gotta wait on the con for a little bit. Um, honestly, I could wait inside. Uh, buff up in here. Instead of using a smithing buff, I saw that I had a damage potion. So I'll go ahead and pop that. Well, the problem is, okay, I'll pop it this time around, but ideally I'm probably going to have to stop using these sparkling reds for these runs because I'm running really low on them. Uh, the last resort for sparkling reds would be to have to run Lomian on my other characters. And I really, really don't want to do that. So <laughs> we're just going to have to, um, you have to live for a bit without using these sparkling reds, man, but I'm, I'm running pretty low. But just because I haven't really recorded like an ideal covert, uh, hopefully this goes well. I'll be using that sparkling red today. Uh, and my con is pretty much just about up. pop this Ursus buff here. Not Ursus buff, but pop the echo there. And I think that's everything. Dice 5. And we should be set. Now, how about the dice roll RNG? That's a pretty big one. Um... Okay, I'm not. That's 15 extra attack. I'm not gonna take any extra chances. Um, all right, let's um, let's see about how this goes. I will. I'll hit probably here, and I might not just pop a V down this one, or I won't do it. But I'll put that on first. Usually, if I do that. 
it should happen the the fatal should happen at around 98 though i think also um that might mess with the u mm -hmm. me fuck with at least it's gonna be weird with the coin i don't think it's gonna time up with the coin he's a no yeah no that's the biggest issue with that you want to time your first having with that coin i gotta i can't pop the fatal outside it's usually a lot better if I kind of just go in and I and I just hit the air. Then it'll pop around like 94, I think. Oh my god, I need lighting phone. What the heck? Okay. Considering I have level 16 on Octo, there's probably no reason they could be using um the freaking uh Vortex skill for <laughs> any reason at all for extra damage. I think I'm fine without it. Switch to um, same suit. I'm like 45 or so. I really don't like the feeling of this one personally, but it's all good. As soon as I can swap, I origin. And I should have um, wrote the iframe. It's fine. I'll this now. I got my burst at 15. There's my fatal. Okay, at least I hit it with that. The score looks really freaking bad, dude. I got a much better score. Well, okay, now it's over. It's literally the exact same score. Without the title. Um, I... <laughs> I really feel like I screwed myself a bit there, but I really don't want to retry. I, I'm almost. I popped these sparkling reds just to get the same score, really. I don't even care, man. It is what it is. I, I can do a better rotation next time. I don't have to worry about it. Um, I just. Yeah, that just didn't feel right. It's all good, though. The absolute worst at doing Clover. But, um, you know how it be sometimes. I'm just gonna do MPE and then that'll be it for the day. Uh, also, today Sunday Maple is also plus 250% Monster Park EXP. Uh, so this should give me a, a good amount of EXP, like 4x the usual amount. So I'll probably break 30%, which is really, really good. Also, figured out how many fragments I need to get both Masteries and 19, and how many hours they'll probably take me on average. And I think it's roughly about 42 hours until they're both at 19. Which, if I actually, like, grind that as soon as possible, I will definitely hit that first before hitting level 285. Because even with the 3x's and the MVP's, which I literally just ran out of MVP's, by the way, um, I'm only getting 1% an hour. Which, uh, is pretty damn low, honestly. But that's just how it is. Okay, that was like 1.3%. I knew it was a lot, but I, I forgot how much it was, but Jesus. That almost puts me at 31. All right. That's uh, 10 clears. I haven't seen a thing. All right, I feel like I completely skipped yesterday's recording because I more than likely probably did. But in Korea, yesterday was April Fool's Day. And, um, the Sunday Maple that we had got transferred over to that day as well. So we have the additional Portal EXP and the Monster Park EXP. So I got a lot of EXP off Monster Park Extreme and all that stuff. And, um, I got to talk to the Maple admin for a free gift. So, as a present for April Fool's Day in Korea, they gave us, in the damage skin tab, a, um, Units Transparent Damage Skin. How does this work? This doesn't make any sense. If it's transparent unit, how are you supposed to see the units if it's transparent? You, you get it? It is weird. It's all good though. I'm about to go into this map right now and show you. It looks exactly like that. I don't know what it is about this damage kit, but I, I really, really like it. It's such a goofy damage kit just because it, it doesn't make any sense. It might be one of the best April Fool's damage kits they've released, and who knows how long I might use this for. On the other hand, 
I trained for like two and a half hours yesterday, I think. Uh, I want to say about two and a half hours. Uh, I also did my BM run. No badge, of course, because this game hates me. And thankfully from that BM, I did get three hours worth of MVPs. And I actually was running out. But I only have 30 minutes left now. And I'm probably going to run out again very soon. Uh, I'm currently sitting on 94 fragments because I wanted to record this moment of me getting my Octo to level 17. I'll have 24 fragments left over. Uh, 18 will cost 75 and 19 will cost 80. So I need a total of 155 fragments until I'm done. I currently have 24, so now I need 131. I think that will roughly take me about six and a half hours to get. Which honestly, six and a half hours? Bro, I can finish that in two days. Like, I, I can get that done before weekly bosses, dude. I'm, I've been on a roll with this recently. I'm digging it. Um, so starting like Wednesday or something or whatever, um, I, I can immediately just start working on Sea Serpent to level 19. And I'm also 35%. So we're getting pretty close to Carcion. Now, I know April just started. And I've been thinking if it, if it is possible for me to reach Carcion by the end of the month. And at the pace I'm going at, I mean, if I keep it up, I guess? But it, it's still kind of hard to tell. However, at the same time, I am i don't really care about hitting 285 this month. Um, hitting it in May will honestly be perfectly fine. I just... um. Just as long as I hit it sometime during Anniversary, because I'm sure Anniversary have a lot of simple rewards, and I, I want to be able to use all of those on Garcion, so... We'll just see how long I can hold on, like, whatever symbols I eventually get, and, um, and see what I can do with those. I would ideally... Well, I mean, I have a... This is gonna be used on Arsavia, so yeah, in Chamber Law, easily. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have the other simple reward in here as well, which is, uh, 60 symbols. This is, um... Uh, this event actually ends tomorrow, or tomorrow's the last day for it. Uh, thank goodness, because I stopped participating in this garbage. Um, but this is ending soon, I get 60 symbols from that, and then 20 symbols from here, which means I'll be able to throw like 40 in both Arteria and Shaker Law. And considering what they're at right now, uh, they're both going to be done in like two months. Uh, eh, that's not too bad. Really, my main focus now is just continue grinding the Hexa, and see if I can get Octo to level 19 before I do my uh, next set of weekly bosses, which should be a pretty significant damage increase. I'm looking forward to it. Also, there are some collaboration events with, uh, it's weird calling this a collaboration, but it, Nexon. I mean, the game's quite literally ran by Nexon, so it's weird, but ne it's Nexon's 30th anniversary. And with that, there are some free gifts. Uh, they gave us three free things, right? Two outfits and a boost rank. And basically what a boost ring is, is a cash ring that gives you 15% of bonus EXP. Really good cash ring, and I think it lasts for 30 days. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and claim it on here. Now the two outfits, I wish I could show you guys, but I can't. I mean, I could technically show you guys because I did claim it on my Dark Knights world. Uh, so I'm not going to be getting those outfits on reboot. But I need to go in and log in the website and get the code for the boost ring so I can put it in. A pretty good opportunity as well because the boost ring is something that they normally sell in the cash out for rec server but they don't sell it in reboots but there have been past events where i have received boost rings before so i'm gonna go ahead and put in this code and uh, there we go i got the exe boost ring i just need to leave the cash shop and accept it on this guy and i should i should be getting an extra 15 percent exp uh oh it comes with a Ooh, wait, this is a crazy package. It also comes with the prepared spear pin in as well. I didn't even know. I <laughs> Hey, what 30 day prepared spear pin in too? Nah, I was talking about or I was about to talk about how I don't have one yet because I'm still using a green pin it because I, even though I don't need the drop rate from it. Um, but this is good. This is really good. This is really good. I okay. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. I'm popping both of these and we're going to be grinding. Uh, we definitely want to take advantage of these. Pop this now. Boost ring probably will go into like the, the cash preset thing or whatever. Uh, I need to make sure I watch my EXP gain. It's at 55 right now. So if I were to put this on, uh, oh, I don't think I can put it there. If I were to put this on here, all right, 70% now. And then um, the spirit pendant can go in here. And that will put me at 100, bro. That's so fire. I see it right there. I, 
That's nice. That's really good. For one whole month, too. I better take advantage of it. I mean, I really only need to gain like 2% a day at the bare minimum. Like 285 this month should absolutely be possible, but we're just really going to have to see how things turn out. All right, it is the last day of this ridiculous Union <laughs> Relay event, which I completely stopped doing after the first week. I can't wait. Um, however, starting tomorrow, we do get a new event, and it's going to be that Pink Bean Letter event. And I think I had brought that up before, but if I haven't, I am now. I'm... I'm not going to be very happy with this event in general either, but maybe, maybe it'll be a lot better than the gen event back in the day. I mean, the gen event back in the day went crazy. Um, the rewards here, I feel like, are not as good. I honestly completely forgot what they were, aside from, like, the cosmetic set that GMS players got for free in Destiny, on top of a level 217 Star Force scroll, and, like, 100 Black Flames, and maybe, like, a couple other things, and, you know, some sword and a 250 pot. But uh, before I do any training today, first things first, the training I did yesterday, I did four hours total, and I got about 88 fragments, and then I got two more from dailies today, so now I'm at 114. So with that, Octo Punch is getting to 18, and the goal today is level 19, I am lagging a bit, it's kind of weird, uh, and I am only away by 41 fragments, which should take me roughly about two hours, you know, more or less. And this is nice too because i'll be able to do my bosses this week with level 19 octo and i don't know that's gonna be real nice uh as soon as i get that done we immediately go for level 19 on the next mastery and then my game just froze what the am i gonna crash i've been having a bad internet for a bit recently today not sure what's going on with me being back on the game though there is one thing i do want to show you guys that i have been doing as of late and that is um going to Arden Mill and digging up flowers. Uh, <laughs> so, in this most recent patch, they got rid of gold flowers on the field. Uh, kind of blows. It, it actually does suck a little bit, but it's like okay, I, I think, with the new way that we have to farm. And um, I guess what the main thing that's kind of weird about it is that we are using up our fatigue while we farm these like flowers in here, but um, we gotta farm like the regular flowers in Ardent Mill. And uh, you can go in here as many times as you want. And they like buff the drop rate of like certain items a little bit. So I think normally before this patch, if you were to come here and farm, uh, you would see like uh, maybe only like one high salt flower or one juniper berry seed from these particular flowers. These are quite literally the only flowers that I touch while I'm here. Um, and that, that's like kind of what it always looked like before the patch right there you know drops like that and like that too but um they added like chances to give like extra stuff so you you could get like an extra high south flower or an extra juniper berry seed uh they also added like brilliant dusk essences you know dusk essences in general in here as well uh just to compensate for not having those anymore i did have someone ask about black powders and honestly like i tried to like mine some rocks for a little bit to see if black powders would uh come around because you need those like stack oceans but i was not able to find a single black powder uh so that one is very unfortunate but as soon as i get through this session i'll go ahead and let you guys know how many of these seeds and flowers I end up farming in 30 minutes i did a bit yesterday and i think a 30 minute session led to be like at least 66 of both the seeds and the flowers this just really allows for more of a... It, it's a small but consistent growth in the materials that you need to make what you want to make. Uh, so gold power farming was nice, but it was very, very random. Um, because you have to go travel like everywhere for a gold flower, but I can find these flowers here a bit more consistently. And the drops are like... I'm, always, I'm almost always guaranteed to get something that I probably need, but it's going to be very little of it. Um... When it comes to gold flowers and, you know, the other flowers and stuff, like, there was a small chance of getting what you wanted. But once you got what you wanted, you would get a lot of it. Like, if you go and get a gold flower and you hit five juniper berry seed oils, like, that's big. That is 30. <laughs> that's basically 30 seeds worth. It, it is a ridiculous amount. And really, that was, like, primarily the best thing about gold flower farming. At least when you wanted to go make, like, uh, wealth potions and whatnot. Um... But this one's like, yeah, this one's okay. It's not like terrible, terrible, but uh, we've usually been able to make it work. And I also normally don't run out of um, those particular flowers. 
this early on, which is really weird because now it's kind of awkward, uh, kind of waiting for them to spawn back. It, it doesn't get this bad as early. But unfortunately, as I am down to 57 mini wealth potions, this is something that I will have to do until I am satisfied with my Hexamatrix in until I'm 285 probably. See, that one just gave me two seeds. You can also get light detectors here. Um, because this is like a way that people earn money, and uh, one of the reasons why they like moved and deleted gold flowers and stuff is because of bots. Um, they will continue to like have those like similar bot detections when it comes to farming these flowers. So I can get typing lie detectors, I can get Violetta lie detectors, I can even get the one where I have to pick the sentence here too. So I just <laughs> I just need to be on my toes whenever that happens. This is pretty much like the same situation as farming. I let her. I'm only 13 minutes in, and I was even thinking to myself, too, dang, I haven't gotten a lot of sector here. Here, here goes. Here comes the stupid Violetta. I gotta do this or else I go to jail. Dang, and then the map reset the flowers while I was doing it. So I, I saw a ton of, like, the, the flowers I wanted that I was eyeing down. And the next thing you know, boom, they're all gone. I hate this game. I have to get kicked out of here in, like, 20 seconds. Um... Afterwards, I haven't even checked how many of it, like anything I've gotten, so we will see what happens towards the end. It's not looking too good towards the end here. I probably don't even have enough time to find and dig up one more. You know, I don't. I'm pretty much about to get kicked out right now. As soon as the time reaches zero, I'm out. No time to linger. Uh, so the ending result is. Thing only see. I figured it was like pretty bad this time around, especially when I like ran out of flowers so quickly. Like I usually get 66 of each, but this time it was only 60 uh, seeds and 65 flowers. So, and I ended up using 168 fatigue. It's all good though. I'm gonna go ahead and start making the oils now. So I have 10. So on average, one of these will turn into um, a powder. Which is the really, really annoying part about it, just because it's that 10% chance. I literally pulled a powder on the first one, bro. I just got two powders in a row. That's a... I just did a 1 in 100. Alright. That's foul. I really went powders on the first two. I might get one more. Shoot. Let me see. We can still make two more. I, get, I got three powders. That is insane. I cannot... Four? I got four powders! What the... F Oh my god, I got six juniper berry seed oils in 30 minutes that <sighs> You know the Bron James is bad seasons too, man now, I think I pulled one powder here so far already for these uh, so this is the last one here and uh, Okay, wow one out of ten, but I pulled four out of ten. That's so four out of ten is insane. What I've been doing with the uh, high stop oils, though, is I've been making these. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Recipe bag. I've been making these. So I'm about to pop another recipe right now because I need to pop one for each one that I craft. And I can craft four of these EXP potions at a time. And they give me... It's like the, the enhanced small EXP ones, which give 20% instead of 10. So I go in here to the alchemy tab. I can make it two times. So uh, I just got to be prepared to pop... Um, another recipe as soon as I finish this one and that one's out of the way I go ahead and pop one more right now and do this and then with that being said and done I don't have 16 hours worth of 20% small EXPs and then I should still have a wealth potion recipe running to which I can uh, I can make three more of these I did like the 30 minutes that I did last night I didn't have enough fatigue to craft anything so the materials just kind of built up a little bit so Thankfully, ever since I started doing this last night, I have made 48 small potions, 48 small EXPs, and um, 16 of, uh, of these here, the, uh, or it's 48 small welds, goddamn. 75 is not enough for the long term, though. I still need to farm here for a little bit longer. This will help me for a while, but... I'm not done with my time in Ardenil just yet, so I need to continue to consistently do this until I feel like I have enough, that's all. But now I'm going to be focused on doing my training for the day and making sure I get that level 19 Octo before the day ends.
Two and a half hours of grind today, and that brought me from 39 to 88. Um, not too bad. I had like a pretty good first hour, and then the 30 minutes after that, I only got three fragments. That's pretty much just the game balance it all out. But at the end of the day, two and a half hours in, all I really needed to do, got myself an 88 frag. So about 49 fragments in two and a half hours. Extremely close to 20 an hour, but you know how it goes. But now, I can finally get this done and over with. Octo was level 19, and I have no idea when I'm going to revisit the skill again. I gotta do the mastery now, and I'm roughly somewhere between 4.5 to 5 hours of grind until I get this to level 10, and I can start leveling up further at cheaper cost. Also, I'm pretty sure, excluding Soyonis, this puts me rounding up just a tiny little bit. About 2,000 fragments in my skills now. It only took me almost nine months and six shot release to do it but i did it Let's see what happens another day break and get anything wow i got a sparkling red potion is everything I needed. I roar to did not get anything. Wow. That's not bad. Let's see this. That's not bad. Anybody asking about drops today? Usually I say no, but I'm afraid that that answer's gonna change right now. I gotta wait till next week if nothing happens, but that's seven days. That's 168 hours, bro. That is that is 1,440 times seven minutes, man, of having to wait to not get a goddamn emblem again for me to have another opportunity. So I I I need this. I need this. I have gotten nothing else, bro. Oh, you know, I'll open the box just for fun. Poke at it a little bit. That's not bad though. Crit damage for it. Hey, no! I don't even know why I popped the drop with most of this. It, it does not even matter. And I'm pretty sure everything that I drop isn't even affected by drop rate. Okay, it is time. We got two weeks after this passion so I guess the supposed anniversary, and a new event has begun. Although it's about to be the end of day 2 for it, out of day 14, so I'm a little behind. But, it is time for the uh, the Pink Bean Superstar event. And as I have mentioned in the past, this event is very, very similar to what I had to do with back in the day with BTS Jin. We gonna be collecting letters. So I gotta get all this stuff done across two weeks. And uh, how it works is that there are three different tiers of letters. There is the uh, the comment letters with like you know the lowest tier ones. You got B, E, and R, which aren't really on here as much. Um, you can kind of see they're like kind of color coded a bit for like uh, their rarity and stuff. But B, E, and R are pretty easy to get. Next will be of the intermediates here, um, and this is A, I, N, S, V, and that's on here a lot. And then next up, we have like the high, really rare tier letters, which is K, P, T, and U. In that, uh, that's not really on here as much, but they're like really, really, really rare letters to get, so makes sense. So I'm about to do a grinding session for like an hour and a half or so, roughly, and I'm gonna be collecting these boxes. Uh, just like the gentleman as well. There's gonna be like the regular boxes, which will drop pretty frequently, and then there's going to be the really rare flaming boxes, uh, which will be definitely. A challenge to get here especially on reboot considering that um they are not tradable here even though they're tradable on reg like you can sell them in the auction house and stuff but here you gotta get all the boxes on your own reward wise the main outfit you get from it is this like little mage outfit here that gms got for free in the destiny patch as their pre-registration event and then for the other rewards we have uh, 60 sack symbols uh, which, depending on how long I can stretch this out for, I could potentially use this for Carcion, but we will have to see. Um, two of these, like, slot coupons here for your, uh, 
mannequin thing, so hair, face, and skin, and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> 100 Black Flames, a box that gives you a level 250 pot and one sword, uh, and a level 217 Star Force Scroll, which, unless I get like an ET or anything, uh, any, any type of drop that I could use to Star Force, this really doesn't really have a meaning to me, so I think the. The main thing that I'm really going for is like the Black Flames, and if I somehow don't finish this event, it's whatever. For the time being, before this reset, just so I have time to, you know, open up some letters, um, I am going to grind for about an hour and a half or so, and uh, see what we get. Alright, the hour and a half grind has been done, and I was able to collect 112 boxes, and zero hot pink boxes. Um, so, <laughs> I really don't know the ideal rates on those. I actually did four hours on Luna during this event so far, and I ended up getting four hot pink boxes. So on Luna, I was at least averaging one per hour, but I think that's, like, higher than the usual. So, I just how it is for now. But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and start opening these boxes. So, as far as rates are concerned, there is a 95.4635% chance that I will open a low tier letter. And that could be any of the letters in here. That includes all these garbage letters here. But, um, there's a decent enough chance I could pull, like, a useful letter that I can use, like B and R. And then there is a 4.5365% chance to open an intermediate letter. And the rates are equally distributed uh, with each other. So pulling A, I, N, S, V each have a about a 0.9% chance to open. So let's go ahead and get started on opening these letters and see what I pull. Also, whenever you pull a letter that you need, it will show right here. Um, in like yellow text, it's like, oh, like this is, like, this is an actual usable letter for this event. And if you pull an intermediate letter, then the game will like show you like, hey, you pulled like a pretty rare letter from these boxes. Great job. See, I just pulled I. There's like a special message for pulling an I or just any intermediate letter for that matter. All right, so I am done. I don't think I pulled anything too crazy, honestly. I got uh, four intermediate letters out of 112 boxes. It's like kind of bad. And three of them are V's, which, funny enough, is the exact amount of V's that I needed. So let's go ahead and put in that one I. We're just gonna... You know what? I'll put it here. Because I do want to get those black flames. So it's like the, <laughs> the biggest thing that I care about here, honestly. And then all the V's, I'll go ahead and put these in. So next time I pull a V, I can break it down and I can get quite a bit of shards out of it. Because it is an intermediate letter. Um, let me fill out B and E. And then for the rest of it, I don't really care. I'll just fill out the remaining of uh, what I have just to finish off this event here. I have a ton of B and E's, but only one R. So that's the last R I could put in, but I can fill in E's for the rest of it. And then now I no longer need any more E's, and I no longer need any B's. I just need three more R's, and then that should be it for the, um, the low tier common letters. And I, I should never have to make an R. Um... But what I will do now is I will take these letters and I will start breaking them down for certain points. So depending on the tier of the letter, you get different you get a different amount of points to breaking them down. These low tier letters are worth five. Intermediate is worth 75, and rare high tier letters are worth 250. Also, when you break down letters, um, not only do you get like shards, but you will also have a chance at pulling um, some higher tier letters that you might need. And you can even break down letters and pull like the top tier letters. Uh, because on Luna, when I did this, I was breaking down letters, I pulled a K. And K is like pretty freaking difficult to get. So there is a small chance that you can luck out and pull some pretty insane letters. See, so yeah, I just pulled an R. So I can put an R right here. And I only need two more until I'm done. Alright, this is all I can do now. Uh, I ended up with 575 points or shards or whatever these things are. And uh, in order to craft any letter that you want, uh, depending on the tier, a basic letter costs 100. So I can go in here and I can pick two R's if I wanted to. But I see absolutely no reason to do that. I'm pretty sure I can easily pull the last two R's with how much more I have to farm. Um, and then if you already have like everything you need on this list... Then the game will tell you that you already have it and there's absolutely no reason why you should pull it 
Uh, intermediate, you need 1500 shards. I'm at 575, so I still need another 925 more to pull anything. And then for the highest tier of letters, you need 5000. Uh, I'll be holding on to these for a while because there truly is no point in me spending these at the moment. Um, I will need to grind for a lot more so I can save up these shards and then. Uh, Whenever I do approach this cap of 9999, I'll, I'll see what I need afterwards. Alright, couple things. Uh, I just did three and a half more hours. <laughs> so I am now at a total of five hours to this event. And I'm pretty sure I started at eight fragments before I even started training. So a total of about 102 fragments collected in five hours. Not too bad at all. Uh, so what I will do with that is I'm getting this new mastery level 10. And I can finally just start working on it with some easy cost of 19 because my next cost is only like an hour and a half of grind away. Super close. But uh, now for boxes, as far as boxes are concerned, I looted 282 pink boxes and three hot pink boxes. So I've seen three hot pink boxes in a total of five hours. Uh, I'm not really going to count how many regular pink boxes I've seen just because it's quite a bit. But um, at least in this particular session... Um, I think I get them at a rate of like 70 to 80 per hour, honestly. Probably pretty close to 80 currently. I would say 75 to 80 to narrow it down some more. So the letters that I need are T, U, P, K, you know, at least once. So U and T twice. Uh, U three times. So if I pull three U's, that'd be good. Um, and then P and K. So I think it's um, two K's, two T's, two P's, and three U's. So we're about to see what I pull right now. So I would like to pull at least two unique letters off of these. But uh, we'll see. First one's a P. Um, I would be a bit happy if that was a U. Okay, okay, we're good now. I was a bit scared that would have been a dupe. Like two P's is fine, but if I pull three P's, it will not be good. I pulled um, P, U, and T. Uh, I needed a K as well for the Black Flame, so that's kind of... It's not that good, but we'll go ahead and put it in for now. Not too bad. And then for the rest of it, honestly, you know, outside of the Black Flames, like I've mentioned before, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just put things in random places, like here and like here. And now, I need to go through opening all 282 of these boxes. I to open everything. Let it, let's see what I got. Um, two A's, four I's, five N's, two S's, and one V. Um, let me fill out these R's, and then after that, I have finished all of, like, the low tier common ones. Um, I want to be able to fill out all of the letters here, so all I'm missing here for the Black Flames is the, the K. And then, as I mentioned before, everything else doesn't really matter, so I'll just fill everything up from top to bottom. Got, um, here, here, an S here. We can put some more letters here. And, um, all right, that is it. Oh, not too bad. And we're not even done yet because we could break all these down to get more. Let's see what we get. There's a very, very, very small chance I pull a K. And that would be crazy. And also, I can break this V down. It's worth 75, so that's really good. I did not pull any good letters after, um, breaking everything down. But, hey, I have 2.3K points. So I'll probably save up for like a hot pink letter for when I need one much later down the road. Um, sure, like, that. okay, this is what, five hours worth? And it's going to be a lot more once I finish all the intermediates because I'll have a lot more intermediates to be able to break down. But what it seems, I have uh, seven intermediate letters left, four S's, two A's, and one N. And then I can start pulling the, um, or I can start breaking those down and getting more shards off of that or piece of points, whatever they're called. But that is going to be it for the grind for today. Doing five hours between resets, you know, not too bad. I'll pick it back up tomorrow. All right, it is a new day, and I already did two hours. Um, and I, it was kind of bad. Like, I got a hot pink box, which is cool. But I only got 123 boxes when I probably feel like I should have gotten close to 160, given my rates yesterday. But it is what it is. I'll probably do some more later, uh, you know, a couple more hours later in the day. But uh, we'll see. Also, today is a Sunday Maple, so I have to do Colford as well, too. And today, Sunday, is 5, 10, 15 with nothing to tap. So it didn't even matter. Uh, today was the day I, I was supposed to tap the Zerk that I got. Uh, but I got so <laughs> impatient and I wanted to tap it immediately. And you know how things turn out. But anyway, if I want a Black Flame, 
this hot pink box here needs to give me a K. And uh, I can, okay, I can still use every letter from it. So whatever letter I get, it doesn't really matter, but I would really, really, really like a K. I got P. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's the only P I need. I really hope I do not pull a P from the next box. I can break it down, but like, mm -mm. So seven hours in, I've only gotten four hot pink boxes. I think that sounds about right. Those boxes are pretty hard to find. Um, if anything, I hope the okay. I highly doubt the letters I'm pulling now is going to make me finish all the intermediate ones, but I think I might get pretty close. I pretty yeah, I pulled a V. I actually think I don't need Vs. I pulled an I earlier. I just pulled an S, but we'll see what we need. Awesome. Let me do this real quick. Hexamatrix, second mastery, level eleven. Uh, pretty much about two hours away from level 12. So hopefully if I plan on doing two more hours there today, it should be good enough to get um, that upgrade for level 12 on the mastery. And then I can run Colbert with level 12 second mastery. All right, let's see what I got here. Um, I can fill out every single remaining intermediate one that I need, but probably not all the way. Uh, however, I can finish Universe Star, which is not what I intended to finish first, but I can. Um... <laughs> So I guess that's cool, but I can now claim this hat and the, the ball. I don't want to get this box. Wait, do I want to get this box? Actually, I I don't mind. It gives me W. I, it, it doesn't matter. I think what I was wanting to save was the symbols. Yeah, I was wanting to save the symbols for Carcion, but here we go. I can claim this hat and this box here. I need to make more room in my cash inventory, but um, let's put this on. Boom. This is ridiculous. And then we also have the box. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And I will use both this. Oh, I'll use both um, these items here. Sword is completely useless though. Alright, what else can I fill in? I can fill in uh, one more S. I don't have any more S's. Then I'll do N and then A. Um, and that being said, I can actually break down all these intermediate ones. Because the last one I need is an S. And then... That'll be that. I just have to, to get pity for the top tier ones. And I'll only really start pulling them whenever I get close to 10k. Let me see how many points I get off of breaking it down. I am starting at 2.3. And I will we'll see what I end off with. I just opened an S. That's not bad. I have finished all the inner wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished all the intermediate levels not, or intermediate letters, and now I just need six hot pink. It's pretty good. Um I can't benefit from a P though, so I have to pray that if I get a box later, I don't pull a P. I just need two T's, two K's, and two U's, and then I'm done. And I finished breaking stuff down. I'm at 3.3K points now. Uh, looking pretty good though. It's just getting what I need for the hot pink stuff is going to be annoying. But I'm able to break down a lot more points because I don't need intermediate letters anymore. I just did two more hours. That's going to be it for the grind for the day. And uh, I got 140 regular boxes and one hot pink box. So I'm at five hot pink boxes in nine hours. Uh, honestly, I'm okay with pulling anything that is not a P. And there is a 25% chance I pull a P. And I got a K. Wait, I wanted the K, right? Yes, yes. I get the black flames now. And I get the overall. Alright, I can finally play my weapon. It's gonna be some content right there and then put this over on i'm like putting on the pieces little by little but i do need to put some more items in the cash or i can break these down let me go to hindrances first things first the overall the male one we'll put that on it's not bad and then now um the flames i think they might be i got them already right pretty sure i did yeah yeah they're in my scroll bag or something right here Okay, time to flame the weapon. Basically, it is currently tier 6 with 16% damage, which is pretty good. Uh, been trying for a while, but it is very, very tough to find anything better than this. This sucks. This this really blows. Then I hate anything. I didn't even see anything remotely good. If anything, I saw like tier 6 attack and tier 5 boss around the same time, but like, or around at the start. But it didn't really work out very well. Anyway, second mastery, level 12. Seven levels to go. And then after breaking everything down, I have 4.7k points. I'm very close to being able to pull a top tier letter, which I'm currently missing. What, two T's, two U's, and one K? 
I'm still gonna win on it a little bit. Surely I can get like a few more hot pink boxes. And um if I get like really lucky, I'll pull unique letters off of those. But ideally, I would like to see if I can pull what I need in like three more boxes. And then I can maybe open up two letters and then I'll be done. But um we'll have to see. Alright, 10 more minutes until reset, and it will be day 6 of the alphabet event at reset, and uh, I only did about 2.5 hours to day 5, which is pretty much barely enough grind for me to go ahead and get this at level 13 right now. And with that being said, it's with the current fragments I have, it is approximately about 20 more hours until this skill reaches level 19. And I know for a fact my grind is not going to be done in 20 hours, so once that is done, um, I thought about a little bit more, and with about like 11 and a half more hours of grinding, I could get the skill from 4 to 7 here, and then Howling here from 1 to 4. And I think that'd be like, that'd, that'd be about enough, that'd be fine. Anyway, alphabet box wise, I got 196 boxes, and I somehow did not get any hot pink boxes, so I'm 11 and a half hours in, and I've still only seen 5 hot pink boxes. Let me just go ahead and open these up, and maybe when I break these letters down, I'll see a hot pink box or something. Absolute terrible opening, no hot pink letters. Wow, so absolutely, yeah, just zero hot pink letters today, no boxes, didn't make one. Absolute garbage. But uh, it's all good because I have 6.4k shards, which means I can craft one, I can make one. Uh, but there's literally no reason to do this right now. It seems like a, a genuine terrible idea to make a letter currently. So I'm going to continue to farm more boxes and see what I can do. Again, the big goal would be like, if I can get three hot pink letter boxes, open three letters that I need. So hopefully not a P. I opened like, I don't know what T and, and two U's. And then I get like 10k of these shards and I can pity my way through the end of the event, but it's all RNG currently, you know, until they reach that pity. But if I, if I, the pity's 25k and it took me 11 and a half hours of farming to get 6k. I don't think I'm a farm on the pity in time, bro. That's a bit much, but we're going to keep going at it. Day six is about to begin. I, I plan on doing some time. Uh, you know up to like the usual four hours maximum that I normally like to do so we'll see what I can get I'm about an hour in for the grind today and uh, while I've only gotten 50 regular boxes which might be like my worst record yet I've gotten two hot pink boxes after not seeing one for like three plus hours or you know any any of the day yesterday uh, so what was it I needed I want to open these right now because I'm impatient so um, so T U U K T. So two T's, two U's, and a K. No P's. If I get a P, if I get two P's, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Here we go. Oh, I got a U. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I need, I need two U's. Right. All right. So U is still viable. U is still viable. And we open it again. I got a K. That's I'm pretty sure that's it. That's this is good. This is good. I needed both of these letters. That means I can throw that in like. I, I can just throw in a universe and get the cape, honestly. We'll go ahead and do that. And then I can get that reward. And then, um... The K, I mean, only have one spot for a K, so... I'll throw that right here. Which means it sets my pity that I need it. It uh, made it go down from 25k to 15k, so... At best, if I get another hot pink box, and I... I just need T and U, so it's a 50% chance I hit what I want. And I only need 10k points to be able to complete this event. So that's uh that was massive progress. I'm about 12 and a half hours in now, and uh we'll continue to grind a little bit more. Another flaming box, y'all. I um how many 13 I I think I'm approaching 14 hours after the end of this. Um pretty much like 13 hours 50 minutes in so far. But I got another hot pink box. You already know what it is. I'm, you know, it, it's getting real crazy. I, I just saw the, the total solar eclipse, man. We go, <laughs> we go real crazy with this. I just, I just need a T or a U. That's it. A T or a U. Fuck yes. Okay, I got a U. We, we it. We it. This is it. This is it. I can put this U down here. And I do not mind getting the pity for the last two T's that I need. And then that's like pretty much it. I highly, highly doubt... As a matter of fact, I mean, all I need is T's, 
So I can like pull this right now. I just pull a T right now. And it doesn't even matter. And it gave me a T. And if I want to put it in anything. Uh, you know what? I'm going to finish this event regardless. So I'll just put it up here. Uh, so now I have everything except for that last T down there. Which I just need to get the last 3.6k points for for pity. Or if I get really lucky, I get another hot pink box and I pull another T. But I am 100% probably more than likely going to have to reach the pity for it and i i do not mind i don't know time for like an hour and a half ish today so definitely not gonna finish today probably um well up to an hour and a half but before i get back to it i did put the shoes on so now i got the whole set except for the weapon and honestly it looks pretty nice i think it have items would have more added value to it if people didn't get it for free because I know y'all got this set in Destiny for free. And a lot of people started trash talking it. Because, well, everybody has it. It's the same situation with the Choo Choo set. Like, the Choo Choo set doesn't even look that bad. Everybody has it. So the value is just really, really low. This set's actually kind of cool. Am I going to get bored of it after a little bit? Yeah, sure, probably. But, hey, I'm digging it right now. And, man, I just spent 14 hours training for it, bro. I don't even have the weapon, but... Honestly, even if I do get the weapon, depending on how it looks on me, I might not even use it because the weapon, well, okay, the weapon doesn't look that great. But I think the rest of the outfit is not too bad. But before I get back to this training, let me go ahead and get this low 14. And there we go. I need three hours of grind to get this to 15. So that is definitely not happening today. All right, I am fully for real done for the day. I am a total of 15 and a half hours in off of this alphabet event um i have 275 boxes i have no hot pink boxes so i've gotten a total of eight so far which i'm pretty sure puts me at about um eight with no dupes i believe which is pretty fascinating uh, and i bought one so i should have four five six yeah a nine total so there's a total of 10 hot pink letters i'm currently at 1.4k so i'm gonna go ahead and open these boxes and see how much i'll be at afterwards i have still yet to open the hot pink letter off of um kind of breaking my other letters down but even if i do if it's not a t i can still break that uh, particular letter down for 250 points which is really really good even if i don't get what i want did some math with the rate right uh with the rates right just to see like the average amount of pieces i get off of opening these boxes with the um Rough 95.4635% chance for a small letter and a 4.5365% chance for an intermediate letter. And then with the intermediate letters being broken down for more, uh, it ended up being an average of about 8.1755 points per box that I opened. Um, which means that with the amount of points that I need left, I, I need to open about... Well, I'm going to round it up to like 440 boxes and I had 275. So... Let's say I need to farm about 170 more boxes. I can maybe get that done in like two and a half to three hours, probably. So I think I really, really, really think. Also, this doesn't even include like the letters that I probably get. Or that I'll probably get from breaking down five of the, the letters, right? Because when you break down five, they give you one letter for free anyway. So... I think after this, I only really need to grind maybe like two more hours and then I'm done, but we'll see. I ended up at 3.9k. I got almost 2.5k off of breaking everything down, which is really good actually. So with that being said, I actually really could get this done in like two hours. At most, two and a half hours is what I'm like really leading myself to believe. If I... And, and like that's like absolutely guaranteed if i get a hot pink box and i pull any letter like not even a t just one hot pink box is like an absolute given uh so i think the cut for this event for me personally will probably approach about 18 hours which when you really think about it is honestly pretty freaking insane for a two-week filler event it's not even hey so i'm getting boosted exp rates or anything i'm just I said 18 hours to finish this. What the heck? It is what it is. I need to grind the buck anyway, and um, this is like added an extra fun little way 
to get the grind done however when i do finish the grind for this event i probably will take a small break from the butt grind for a bit until anniversary begins because i'm pretty sure come anniversary there's gonna be an exp skill i try to save my mvps from this next week's bosses this next week's set of bosses to be able to use whatever exp skills are during any and it should be some pretty nice exp and i'll continue to pursue the grind up until i'm 285 Today is the last day of the first week of this alphabet event out of two weeks. So after today, this event is halfway over. However, I plan on trying to complete the event today. As I mentioned before, I think I only really need to train for about two more hours. So I'm going to start off with exactly that, a two hour grind. Uh, get my dailies while I'm at it. And, um, you know, just hit it up for two hours. Hopefully that should be good enough as well to get this to level... 15 which judging by my fragments i would need roughly about i would say an hour and nine minutes average to level it up so i should be totally good to level this up in two hours i think these vip buffs are expiring soon so i'm just gonna go ahead and i should have popped these earlier but i guess i could save some for doing some boss tomorrow but i'm gonna go ahead and at least use four of them right now for uh 15 percent extra exp and I need to get some EXP coupons as well as the shop and so It is hot pink time. I got a box. If I get a T, I'm done. If I don't get a T, well, I'm like officially giga done after two hours because I can just break it down and um, I'll 100% have everything I need. Oh, I got a K thing. I, I can't use a K, but I can break it down for 250 pieces though. Got another hot pink box, bro. Honestly, I might just have to set this event at a 16 and a half hour cut or roughly, you know, around that range uh, because I, I, I think that's it. No matter what I get off of this box, I'm I'm done. Pretty sure with what I currently have, like that's that's all I need because I have 87 regular boxes. And if I get a, a bad letter and I break the two hot pink letters down, I'll be at like 4.4K. Like I'm, I'm pretty much done. But we're going to see what we get. We got to pee. Don't need a pee, but like I said, I'm done. I'm just gonna have this extra hour because I, I popped the coupons already for it, so why not? I just got another box. I'm 24 minutes until I'm finished with the grind, but they just keep giving me these boxes. And I got a tea. I'm, I'm done. I won't even have to open any. Okay. Well, I'm still really just gonna say that my, my ending cut was about 16 and a half hours in. After getting that second hopping box, because like let, let's be real here, I most certainly a million percent had more than enough regular boxes at that time to be able to open up enough to get the pity. Like it wasn't even bad. But um the game just so decided to give me this last letter that I need. And with that being said, I have a officially officially completed this uh pink bean universe star superstar universe event. Before I claim all the rewards, though, I'm going to finish these uh, coupons first. All right, it is done. The grind for the day is finished. And not just that, but I'm probably going to stop grinding for the next week. Just because I want to make sure I do this event as well on Luna. Take advantage of it as much as I possibly can. So, but grind will be on break until the anniversary patch is out. But let me go ahead and get into these rewards right now. So these symbols in here, uh, 60 sack symbols, I'm just going to keep those in there. Uh, there's a small chance I might be able to use these for Carcion, but I believe I have like, from the time I claim this to the time I have to open the symbols, to the time I get to use the symbols is about two weeks. And that's going to give me a pretty much, I want to say, um, two weeks to gain like 37%. Maybe the 38%, but we'll see what that uh, will be like. Also, I just want to say, after I pull that T, by the way, in the next 23 minutes of training, I got two more hot pink boxes. I, I don't get it, dude. Why did I get five hot pink boxes in the last two hours? And it totals up to 13 throughout the entire event. So you're telling me the first 15 and a half hours, I get eight. And then the next two hours I train, I get five more. I didn't even know it was like that, but... That's just how it is. We got the mannequin slots, which honestly, not really a big fan about. I don't really care. 
And then we have this uh, weapon here, the, the weapon for this set, which you guys have most certainly seen before. And then the level 217 Star Force scroll, which currently serves no purpose right now. But I, I could get a drop. I, I could get it like an ET or something. You never know. So what I'm going to do is, like I, like I said with the symbols, I'm going to wait until the last day to claim this and see if I can hold on to it long enough for me to get something special. If nothing happens, then I'm just going to let it naturally expire because, well, there's nothing I really care to do with it, and that's all. And here comes the full set. Let me take this off. There we go. And I'm like holding something here too, but uh, I finally got it now. It's uh, not not too bad, not too bad. And then for the absolute final reward for completing everything, you get a synchroid. The thing that makes the synchroid so special is um, I'm pretty sure this comes with a heart as well. Yeah, Lydium Heart. Uh, the thing that makes it so special, though, oh my god, is that it looks exactly like your character. However, it's really annoying because apparently it doesn't count your eye accessory. Only your face, not the eye. So, it's it's just you. <laughs> That's, it, it's actually kind of cool. I wish they would put the eye accessory on it, though. That's like kind of annoying. You can't customize the Android because it's supposed to copy exactly how you look. So, if I were to put this cow hat on... It would also be wearing the cow hat as well. And also, I currently have 83 fragments, meaning what I can do with this is I can get this mastery to 15. And still have 23 fragments left over. And with that being said, I have around 13, 13 and a half hours left to grind on this character until this mastery reaches level 19 on average. That's not too bad at all. I am currently 62,896 converted stat with Wild Hunter and Bishop buffs. Uh, if I were to finish my matrix, when by finish in these current terms, uh, by the time 285, get this to 19, get this to 7, and get this to 4, I would be at 63,427. So I could still gain about 500 more conversion. Um, and I'm still trying to approach that, like, you know, the bare minimum 64, 65k range to be able to do Kalos. And this is without Blackheart, by the way. This is kind of sort of with, like, half Tim stats. Um, anniversary Tim stats will exist, but it, it's all good. But if I go over here and, like, you know, I plug in certain numbers, uh, I should be much, much higher. Blackheart, level 6 Carcion symbol, and, uh, my goal Hexa Matrix will put me at about 66k which is pretty freaking good. I can't see what I'm at if I turn off Wild Hunter and Bishop because the, the Maple Scatter people disable that now because they didn't want people to like lower their conversion stat for, I guess, malicious reasons. It's so annoying because I actually had to use for that, but then other people went in and ruined it. It really do be like that sometimes, but I can't turn those off. So I have to, at the very least, see if I can find a Wild Hunter buff every time I want to try in Kalos when the time comes. So, I'll be at 66k, it shows 91% on here, but considering how much easier the boss became and how much better it is, the DPS now, it, 66k should be enough. I'll be very, very, very surprised if I cannot solo normal Kalos at 66k, the nerfed version, as a buck. But, we'll just have to see what happens when the time comes. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get my cohort out of the way for the week. At least while I still have VIP buffs because, well, you know, why the hell not? I'm going to do as much as I can, even though personally I do not want to pop a sparkling red. Uh, but it's all good. That's just how it is sometimes. I have Ursus buff right here. And I need to buy more because that shop closes in two weeks and the only way I'll be able to get one now will be through the, um... The, um the mileage shop the rp shop and that's not really something i want to do but while i'm at it for this culprit as well i'll go ahead and buy a superpower buff because i actually haven't been using mvp superpowers in a while same exact price as the ursus buff 3k mileage for a package of 10. all right it is time to see what i could do however i should um consider baing i'm curious to see my deal share in gpq and see what's like best for it uh, but I'll pop like every single buff that I have. I, I'm just gonna do like something really simple. Because if I try to overcomplicate certain things, I should use these by the way. If I try to overcomplicate certain things, then I might screw it up and it's not gonna be good. But I think I'll go ahead and just attack and proc my fatal on entry. 
we'll try not to do too many things at once just to make it a bit easy up this and then i think that's pretty much wait uh dice rng i got bad rng last time a three dude i have to keep a three because i don't want to leap and have it be worse but the scene attack is 15 attack we'll just settle with that um everything else looks fine okay that'll be that so go in and immediately pop fatal I don't even know when that's gonna pop. I got like five or four. 95, 94. Pop overdrive here in a bit. I'll pop it when I get to stage five, probably. No. I can probably start having you know, pop AP right now for it. It's gonna be a bit finicky with my client. I'm just not using it now though. Alright, got it in both the, uh, the con the thing. The reflag. The con on my fatal. I need for him. I'll try to swap. It's my roar at like 46, 45 maybe. Definitely no, no later than 45. Stop. I could potentially get server lag on this, and it's gonna be like really good. You know, I fatal just pox, so it's not too bad. Oh, right now. Oh, hey, BB. Or now. Got the energy orbs. Start chilling a bit. Fatal. And then just keep it cycle for the rest of it. 23.7 no black heart it's not too bad um i think that that is definitely my highest score that a black heart because last week i got what 23.1 yeah and i just got a couple levels and i popped a couple extra buffs so maybe it could have been a bit better but i'm like pretty satisfied with the score at the moment i'm pretty sure that's not bad at all then again i'm not sure if i popped a sparkling red last week now I'm starting to feel like I could have hit 24, but <laughs> it, it is what it is. I don't even, I don't even it's, it, it's all good. We'll just see what happens towards the end of next week after we get anniversary buffs, probably. I'm, I'm like very sure that this KMST patch coming up tomorrow, you know, at the time I'm recording this, tomorrow, two days from now, roughly, uh, will be the anniversary update. Just gotta do MPE and then the buck is done for the day. Also, I didn't BA, bro. Are you kidding me? I was supposed to ne next week, maybe. If I remember next week, I'll do it. You know, judging by that score, um, even without improving much at all, I think with just Blackheart and Anniversary Tim stats, I could get like 26k. And then with whatever Matrix gains I get, I might bring it to like 27.5, 28. I think my peak covert will probably be looking like 28k on this guy. That's what I would want to assume. With that being said, though, it is time to take a grinding break until anniversary and wrap up this episode. This is a bit of a weird one, because when I started it, I didn't really know where to end it. I felt like I was going to end it when I hit 284, but I also felt like that would have been too quick. So I'm like, okay, we'll just make it a bit longer and we'll find a good stopping point in terms of events. And as far as those are concerned, I think those are the best ones. So... The main things that I have left that I probably have to do is go over Anniversary, that's going to be the next episode, hit 285 and go to Carcion, which honestly, th th those two might be in the same episode, depending on how things turn out. And then afterwards, fi the finale will be in Kalos. 
and I want to get this done before summer. So with all things concerned, there's probably only going to be two or three episodes left. Our time is near, y'all. Our time is near. Don't want to preach how much of a great ride it's been yet because it's not done. We haven't finished the final boss. So with, all, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate y'all time here. And I will see you guys in the next video where I will go over Maple Story's 21st anniversary and a remastered Lotus. Y'all have a wonderful day.